I legitimately got jump scares because I forgot you were there, Shane. I'm right here. You Welcome to the hot seat. <laughs> you f you fit so well there. <laughs> it's it's actually fucking hysterical how well you fit in the plane. Which for for those that don't know, this is an actual photo of Shane that I'm using. It's true, yeah. I it took forever to find it, uh, because for some reason normal cameras don't work on Shane. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, Arcuid. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 we're very close to that point. Um, so the last bit we did when reading Tsukihime was last night. Um, mm. Oh my god. We Dude, got some to of, see some of the one off shit. We got to meet Arumi Sensei. And... Oh my god. It took me a second to decipher that in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That shit, because I hadn't seen that. Because when I oh, played it so originally good. in Japanese, uh -huh. I saw her out the window and I'm like, look, I got to stop this shit. I didn't choose to stay in the classroom. And I oh, love how they're God. just like, I don't know why, but all of a sudden, like, I love social studies. And he goes on this he huge so fucking into social rant. studies and climate change and stuff for yeah, a second there. Yeah, and then he's just oh. like, huh. There's something weird going on. I have this sense of dread and I can't quite explain it. And then here comes fucking Arquaid with the fucking granny glasses. And she's like, hi, everyone. Oh, my God. I think it makes the noise that, that it makes the first time you see a rock, too, where it's like, no, yeah, it's her. It, they play a rocks theme and it's so good. It is, uh, yeah. I, I've re I've been really enjoying uh, the CL route so far too. I think I'm uh, maybe about halfway through. I think I'm on day like five or six. I'm so excited for you. But speaking of being excited, hello chat. How are you doing? Hey Devin. Hey Handy Capable. Hey Speckled. Hey Ashrel. Hey Blues. Hey everybody. Uh, so I was gonna do fighting games tonight, but um, Shane and I had been talking. And we'd realized that we had uh, gone past our deadline for, like, doing a bit, right? Because it had been a... I think the last bit we did was... Uh, Don't say it's Gojiro. No, the last bit we did was the, the, the Trial of Color Brews. Oh, that's right. Before that, though... Before that, I, though, I think it, it might have been Sojiro. It might have. It might have been either Sojiro or Dino Shiki. Uh, I want to say that Sojuro came after because the Dino Shiki video is out. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so it's it had been a while. We used to do. I feel like we used to start almost every stream or every other stream with a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and now we're starting this stream with a bit, even though it's not even we're not doing Fake Go tonight. The I think the big reason why I haven't done bits in stream lately is mostly because we start slightly earlier and have to mm -hmm. end slightly later. Yeah. And so because of that, I don't want to do a bit and then have it end up like the one that happened in Okeanu when we were doing it for two hours. God, what was that? The fucking lead poisoning one? That was lead poisoning uh, versus Microplastic. microplastics. And then what was the what was the other axis? It was like pure or like like the concentration percentage. And then it was the concentration. Was lead or uh. It was it was lead versus microplastics and how full you were versus uh, how little of it was in your system. Like if you had like a light amount of lead and a light amount of microplastics, I think either that mm -hmm. or it was in, whether or not they were willingly ingested. You know what? We no, also, yeah, it was I, it was a uh, full of lead versus full of microplastics and willingly ingesting versus mm -hmm. unwillingly that's right, ingesting. That's right. And yes. then, you know what? I, I almost forgot, but I think we did the She Sucks, I Love Her alignment chart. That must have been, I think that might have actually been the last bit we did. That actually might have been the last bit. Ayo, Sly Hedge Koi B with the 10 months. Thank you so much, my dude. Only hopping in for a bit because you're playing Vesperia with the homies. Have fun with the bit. I appreciate it. Thank you, Choco. Enjoy Vesperia. That's a good ass fucking video game. I wish I could play that game with friends. Oh my God. Can we do that like on Steam or something? Is that a thing that can be that done? That is a thing you can do. That is a thing you can do. I would just have to get over my aversion of playing JRPGs on stream. Oh, I, I said on Steam. Uh, yeah. 
there's 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 got to be a way i got look guys i got stuck like 50 hours no it was probably 25 hours i stuck 25 hours in that game and that was in 2021 yes <laughs> so all right so uh for those that are wondering what the fuck this is and in fact just uh make this more clear we're gonna we're gonna change the color here fan service needs to be uh a nice blue okay with uh, a nice stroke uh, a little a little thicker mm -hmm. on that stroke and it's gonna be a black stroke not oh but not goodness. like pure black though because it one you thing you never use pure black you use pure black only once you're done with everything else exactly exactly uh and then you can't go darker than it Hyperfixation, and then the difference here is going to be Ayo hey, Riley. Oh boy, I love stealing money from corporate supergiants. Same. I love stealing money. Thank you, Riley. Wait. Uh. When, when I said I love stealing money, don't take that out. Of, don't clip that, please. Everything, everything is can be considered wage theft. Is it funny, actually, now that I think about it, people said it was wage theft when you are, like, working a job and, like, not, like, working too hard or something. But back in the day, wage theft used to be when your employer would withhold it from you. Yes. I mean, I'm always going to poop on they're company They're always time. trying to push the blame onto the working man. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's almost crazy. as if that's just what all late-stage capitalism is all about. Terrible. Is, is, is exploiting yeah, because, victims. Because poor people, poor people are the world's most valuable commodity. And they're also the easiest to exploit. Yes. All right. So the conceit of this stream tonight is we are going to be taking uh, everyone's favorite fate grand order servants. And we're going to be throwing them into some proverbial buckets here. And I guess the, uh, the parameters that we're working with is, is this character... Is their main focus like fan servicey? Like, are they steamy? Are they the kind of character that make your neurons fire off? Are they for longtime fans? Versus hyperfixation. Now you might ask, what the fuck does hyperfixation mean? Well, let's say for example, Nasu takes a trip to Italy and he gets absolutely obsessed with, uh, I don't know, fucking, uh, what, what's something in Italy? Gondolas? Ling Linguini. We're going to say he got obsessed with Linguini and gondolas. Yeah. And so after reading up and seeing so much of it, he essentially just makes a servant that is just rides a gondola and then uses Linguini daggers. And it's just like, this right. is a result of a hyper fixation of him reading too many Wikipedia articles. There is, there's definitely like, it feels like part four Rocky where he's just like, this is what I was interested in this week. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we say mm -hmm. Nasu, but there are, of course, other, uh, you know, writers for a lot of fake Grand Order. Yes. Uh, especially the early singularities. We saw tremendous amounts of just fucking hyperfixation gushing in Orlando. <laughs> Marie fucking Marie Antoinette. Fucking Antoinette. <laughs> I actually love that servant's design, but that, I think that's, Honestly, that's got to be a hyperfixation. All right, all right. You know what? Off the bat, then, just for the examples, let's uh, let's Put grab Marie Antoinette Fagot. Let's find let's find a good picture. She deserves it. Uh, obviously, one that's not just stolen from another artist. You just use the official. I'll just use the official then. That's fine. Let's uh, I love her goddamn hat. It's big hat. Big it's hat. so large. All right. There she is. All right. We're going to size her up a bit. Yeah. I really did get like the perfect amount of canvas I, here, I think. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's 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 be careful. You know, make sure we, we got enough for three, three rows or three columns, six rows. We're looking at about 70, maybe what is that six by three is 18, 36 servants. 36 servants are about to place. All right, so we're gonna size her, okay, okay. size her down here slightly. Let's let's get her mash sized here real quick. Yeah, this is reasonable. Oh, there, oh, there you go. You nailed it. Nailed it in one. I'm I'm the best. Ooh, All right. So, where do we start here now? So we have Marie Antoinette, and if we have people in chat that just want to yell some servants at us and be like, "Do this," that that totally I works. Got, I got one for you. When while we're calibrating. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Where do you think Jalter sits? 
That's hard. That's hard. Okay. Is um. It? So, normal Jalter. There is no normal Jalter. Oh, you mean like versus Summer? Yes. So here's my thing. Yes. I feel like Jean d'Arc was kind of like this, at the time, a fan favorite servant. And then they made Jalter, which was just Jean d'Arc, but interesting. <laughs> and then they, they just kept on pushing. The things that, that like, Jalter has almost nothing to do with with like the mythos they don't dig deeper and deeper to try to understand what makes her tick that is functionally like a fate grand order original character at this point she's into dojins she's like all like sassy she's got that goth girl energy and shit like that that is functionally like an original character of fate grand order it has so little to do with john of arc except like a little bit of like fire and dragons stuff. also dragons in the hundred years war i mean no they were there they were there I think uh, those were wyverns, by the way. Oh, you're I think right. That My apologies. Jalter has got to be. That's got to be a fan service. Uh, I would servant. say fan service, but then For sure. here's my question, though. Okay. Original Joan. Would you say she stemmed from fan service or a hyper fixation that he had at the time? I feel like that ha she, in her original form, she is so much more focused on what she was doing like the history of the hundred years war and stuff like that um so at the time she wasn't really a fan favorite she was an original servant right yes in fate apocrypha i think for that reason that's a hyper fixation that is definitely nasu was reading up about french history and he's he, like you got damn. really you got really into it we we had some fucking mario was missing moments in orleans also question about about joan actually yeah did she originate in Apocrypha in terms of her design, or was that a Fate Zero thing? I think she originated in Apocrypha because the Apocrypha light novel came before the Fate Zero anime adaptation, even if it was close, I believe. See, that's that's what I was wondering. That is what I was wondering because I don't know yeah. the dates. Yeah, so Fate Zero aired originally in, I believe, 2012. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, the light novel for Fate Apocrypha, I believe, was like, earlier than that like ever so slightly i see so okay. it was kind of like almost simultaneous um but at the same time like yes while she does appear like her her face appears or i guess her figure at the very least appears very briefly to gilles de Rey in yes. fate zero she is original to fate apocrypha all right and now one thing i want to say for the elephant in the room here we have we have mash up here do you think that she belongs in one of these buckets, or is she like the 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 one, just like how she is in Infago, the one shielder? So my thought about this is at this point, Mash is definitely she is like a mascot. She is one of like what uh, about like if you if you don't count like altars and all that shit, she's basically one of two actually fully original servants. Mm -hmm. Depending on how you look at it, right? You've got you've got uh, Archer, Fate Stay Night. And Mash Archer is not like you know like that's an original character. Um, okay, so so Bird is saying Mash is a hyperfixation on Type Moon because she was a cut heroine from Stay Night, which that is true. I think that Mash is definitely like a fan favorite servant at this point. Plus, I don't feel like the stuff with uh, her, her the, the heroic spirit that lives within her, which I will not name for those of you who are not up to date, um, by fucking ten years. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know that Mash herself has hyperfixations. Yes. <laughs> so actually, now I'm now I'm second guessing myself because <laughs> Mash, some shit she gets so fucking excited about, dude. Like Sherlock Holmes, for example. She got so gassed about that. Every once in a while, she'll get really excited about something and, like, is a mouthpiece for the authors to gush about whatever period it is. <laughs> no, yeah, like, Mass is literally like, oh, man, I, I really, really, really want to just talk about the works of Conan Doyle right I now. I love seeing her get excited about her little... Yes! Like, <laughs> so I think that maybe we can just leave her where she is because she is basically... I know Foe foo whatever you want to say is like the fate grand order mascot but really like in terms of servants it's got to be mash hang on we're gonna we're gonna do one more thing here real quick uh ba -ba -ba.
There we go. Okay. Oh, oh there we on. go. I was gonna say, I was gonna say a little, little, yeah, a little alpha layer. Okay. There we go. There we go. Absolutely. And then we're gonna rotate them slightly, yeah, of course, and then of course. right on top like a hat. Oh, uh, yeah, you, 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 let's uh, just uh, bu, 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 uh, put a little paintbrush here real quick. Don't mind me. Bu, 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 uh, it's the wrong color. Uh, bu, 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 bu. There we go. It's uh, uh like nothing was ever there. Boom, easy. I'm All really right. confused. What did you just get rid of? Uh, I didn't get rid of something when I took off the white around. It took off part of uh, Foe's leg, so I drew that back in real fast. Oh, got it. Perfect. All right. Uh, also, Speckled Bird, you meant to use that on a, recurs on a recursive bit. I apologize. But at the same time, I still appreciate it. All Alrighty. right. So now, now I guess we can really start cooking here. We better so start cooking. we have Joan. We have Marie. Are we just are we just going to be putting all the French people here first because those are the servants that we like a lot? Uh, no. Okay, let me put. Let me rephrase that. We have an attachment to Orleans. We I sure feel. do. That was that was a very special beginning. Yes. Um, I think that we can definitely take submissions from chat for servants that we are familiar with. So that would be like through part one. Well, and yeah, through point, part one and part one, one plus Shinjuku plus Seraph. And, and we um, can also probably just throw in some servants that we aren't familiar with and then just uh, <laughs> throw a wild guess in just to annoy Doom. Um, We'll do our best. I don't know. I, I, I would hate to. I remember when we did the daughter alignment chart, somebody asked us to place, I think it was Shizuka from 100 Girlfriends and none of us knew who she was yet. True. And so we had like a really hard time placing her accurately. But um. I guess anybody from, like, I don't know, fucking most of it. I, I'm not. Oh, whatever. Altera. Will Altera it? and Altera? Ushi. That's a good start. That's a good right. start. Altera, I feel, okay, shit, right? Okay, first so off, real quick, hand, uh, real quick before we can continue. Cross, we are doing a dumb shit post where we're deciding whether or not a servant from FGO is based in fan service or based on Nasu wiki diving too hard. All right, I'm gonna say here's my here's my thing for Altera. That is a fan service character, and the fan is Nasu himself. He said, "Bring that big lady to me." Hungry, hungry, big lady for me. Give me giantess now. <laughs> all right, all also, right. Also, I think that that is that is a servant where her her technical whatever I don't know what you want to call her. Um. Altera feels more like an original character in her function in the story than she does like a um what would what would the word be? Um she feels more like an original character than the servant or the historical figure she is supposedly based off. Yes. Who, if you guys don't know, I'm play Fate Stella, you fucking bums. So are we so, I'm, so I'm are we thinking like service. here? I, I am thinking she belongs in the fan service bucket. What do you think? You were there for the live dub. You know pretty much as much about Altera as I do. At this so point. I'm going to say right now that uh, Altera is literally just a fucking alien. And they were just like, what if we sort of just said this is Attila the Hun now? That's right. So I want to say this is just Nasu being like, That's I like big lady. Big Let me women. have big women. Big ladies. Don't forget, there's two big Alteras. True. Because Sephir. So you know what? We're going to. Oh, we make go. her giant. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. I, I know you're going like, to make her really big, like BB in the background of the. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got, we've got, uh, what about Ushi? Okay. Ushi Wakamaru. Uji, that's definitely a fan favorite character at this point, right? She's uh, in Melty she's Blood. She's in Melty Blood, yeah. Distinguished. Here's my thing with Uji. I feel like the lack of historical context for Uji and the like the widespread popular there's an Uji altar, right? Uh yes, yes, there is. There is. There's Avenger. There is. We yeah, we put two Alteras cuz double the fun when you have two giant ladies. Yes. Um yeah, so Uji is a fan favorite character who is not actually she's like supposed to be similar to uh fucking what's his name why am i blanking on it now uh the guy that has that bullshit haso toby right yes 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 yoshitsune yes. right 
Yeah. But she's like not actually Yoshitsune or something. So I believe it's like a weird Musashi thing or something, right? I thought the whole shtick was that Yoshitsune was a title that she had gotten. Because okay. she has had many titles. So I I'm, like... I'm going to say me personally. Mm -hmm. We have to look at this visually. Fan service as shit. Because like the, she's not allowed to wear a shirt ever. Right. Uh, however. Mm -hmm. The amount of fucking nerd lore bullshit that's with this character that Nasu will never shut up about on every single fucking event she's in. Okay. I feel like the amount of lore that surrounds this character is so fucking dang. I will have to, like, honestly... I only know her as far as Babylonia and her inclusion in Melty Blood. Yes. I feel like her inclusion in Melty Blood tips her slightly more towards fan service, but I'm also not really familiar with all this lore dumping. Also, so uh, yeah, Ushi, Ushi is the childhood name. Yoshitsune is the name they took as an adult. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Taira no Kagekyo, I believe, is the altar. Uh, but I don't know enough about, like, that character in particular. Uh -huh. I for gore because uh, she was part of an event and it was like oh this is like all of the the anger and hatred she felt as she died uh but let me see and she and she became like a spirit of vengeance she ghost rider but 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 sword is my understanding Kage that's uh -huh. right Kagekyo is possessing Ushi's body that's right Please understand, I forgore a lot because that event was like the year I started the fucking game. Okay, so I, I guess I'm I wherever you feel this servant belongs, I I can see it go either way. Let's see. Yeah, this is a little bit of both. Some of them are going to be a little bit of both, but this is not an alignment chart or anything. This we, is we this are is dumping a them. We are dumping, we are them, dumping them in a bucket. You are in one or the other, except for Mash, who is of course. The baby girl, she is shielder. She's outside the rest of the classes. She cheats. Little cheater. Okay, so I'm going to say... No, so, Burgundy, when, when we say that a character having fan service, fan service does not exclusively mean, like, thirst trapping in this context. Fan service is anything to, like, that, like, it, hey, we did this to, like, make fans happy kind of thing. Yes. So it's not necessarily, like, you know... Oh, yeah, like, here's royal icing. It's also like, hey, here's, uh, like, Murabasa, who is, you know, basically like a Shiro face. That is a servant I would probably consider fan service. Or, sure. or Arquade, who is also yes. just straight fan service. That is Arquade. That <laughs> they is exist not, for fan service. That is service. not any kind of hyper. That is an original character. Do not steal. All right, you know what? Just thinking about it now and saying it again, I'm going to say here. Okay. Definitely throwing her in the hyperfixation bucket because Jesus mm -hmm. fucking Christ, this, there's yeah. a lot. Sure. And you know what? You know what? I'm I'm taking another pick immediately. Hang on. I already know what it is. Uh uh. Where are you? What? There we go. Ooh. Well, I heard that snipping tool. There we go. There oh we fucking God, go. The village bicycle. The village bicycle. <laughs> that is a hyperfixation character. That is a fucking. She will never shut the fuck up, and I never know what the fuck she's talking about, dude. <laughs> oh, it's fan service. Do Musashi. Ooh, Musashi would be very interesting. I think. Actually. That is that. I feel like Musashi. I don't know. I feel like that's a fan service character. She has her own fucking game, dude. Kind of. It's not really her game, but like they kind of used her face to promote it a lot. I mean, you know, uh, Iori is like right there. Well, that's what I'm saying. But like, like the big like <gasps> was like in the first trailer when they used Musashi. He's like, <gasps> I think that is. I think Musashi is a is a fan service character. Plus, she does a lot of like. She does a lot of things like outside of the, you know, like just the historical reporting kind of whatever. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, yeah, she's like a universe to universe, like interloper kind of thing. Um, 
they they talk a little bit about her like origins and stuff in uh samurai remnant but it's still just like oh yeah like i had an apprentice named miyamoto iori and um also uh there was a boy version of me in this universe oh oh uh fucking uh omnis brings up a good point in that musashi is like the swordsman of japanese lore of like japanese sure. history so it's like even j it's funny because there are fans of the concept of musashi so they right. put musashi as a character so even though there's a lot of like oh i'm fixated on this lore it gets yeah. to a point where it becomes so much that it's like circles around purposes yeah it circles around to becoming fan service would you say that that's accurate where it's like it's not a it's a hyper fixation of everyone and not just nasu yeah. so it becomes it fan service i would agree with that i would agree it's not like a wrap around kind of, it's just like this character was included to less because nasu was like on some shit one day and more because like this is just like like people wanted it so they included her I would agree with that. Yes, I would definitely agree with that. Uh, fan service character for Japan itself. All of Japan knows your f fan service. Um, I saw a request earlier for Tamamo. I assume we mean That's the original right. Tamamo. I would assume original Tamamo as well. I feel like the original Tamamo. All right, let me let me let me pull up Tamamo no my. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Yes. It's time. What's it time for? Oh, you know. Type moon anything by. If you say homosexual ten times to me, a rumor say Reen Tozaka will show up behind you. I'll get on that later. Um, come on, <clears throat> come on, come on. All right. I'm incredibly concerned. Is it time? Is it time? Is it time? Wait. Now you're driving. Uh huh. But for your consideration. <laughs> yes. Okay, hang on. Hang on, we found it. We found it. We found it. So, 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 so. Tomorrow no my. Tomorrow no my. Tomorrow no man. <laughs> for, for those that don't know, I'm in one server in particular that is literally just a a, a, a real ass fox shopped as Tomorrow oh no my, and that is my icon. Oh. Uh... <laughs> You say that every fucking time I enter that's and announce. That's the part that got me the worst, dude. I feel, I feel oh. like Tamamo is a character um, who nowadays, like more Tamamos, is, feel like fan service because she's so popular. I feel like her original inclusion in Fate Extra was Nasu was on some fucking shit because she dropped, she like name dropped so much fucking lore and shit, even in the Extella games, dude. Yes. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've accidentally wide Tamamo. <laughs> Incredible. There we go. I would say original Tamamo is 100% hyperfixation. Beg for the inclusion of Mordred. You don't got to beg very hard. All right. Uh, Mordred no. is actually interesting for this, I think. That is that is interesting because Mordred's first appearance, I believe, was in Fate Apocrypha. Yes, unless we count like the the mysterious figure in oh, armor that is in like from, the flashback yeah, when the flashback uh, the battle of Kamlon. Yeah, where where uh Saber gets complete. Oh my god, the fake PNG that's fucking evil, dude. I hate this shit. I fucking hate it here. All right, so I want to say personally, the existence. Oh, Mordred was in the Fate State. Well, without a face, though, right? I don't think. Oh, they redesigned her for Apocrypha. Well, yes. I think. I think that Mordred. Um... Me personally, I think fan service. Okay, can you tell me why? The reason I say fan service is because. Mm -hmm. Saber is literally Saber as in Artoria. I call yeah. her Saber for a fucking reason, right? Right. Uh Artoria didn't give Mordor a real half a channel. True. Ah! Also, am I seeing things or does is there a big white border there too? 
There is not. There's not a big white border. What you were seeing oh, is right, you're Altera. Right. Yep. The second Altera, right? But um, the second Altera has hit the Fatex Stella. Oh my fuck. Uh, I want to say fan service because of the fact that Mordred's entire existence, down to their design, their armor, their face, everything, is based solely on the literal mascot of the entire series. Without Artoria, this character would not exist. And that's not Arthurian lore. That is like fate bullshit. Well, Mordred does exist in Arthurian lore. No, I'm aware. But the design physically of this character is all based on fate stay night Artoria. That is true. It is what happens when you um, breed an Artoria while uh, holding a metal coat. <laughs> So, um, I, I personally think that the, the level of detail that the fate universe goes into for the Ar Arthurian myth and legend, and given that Mordred is part of that myth, I think the design is like that, but the character themselves is, um, really, it, it feels like they are there as kind of an expansion of of looking at um just like Arthurian legend in general. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I need oh, to shit. change the music there for a second. This this is the comfy music. This is the this is the comfy music. <laughs> oh, this is the kind man. of music where I'm just I'm just sitting in a park for six hours looking at the sky before I'm about to do some dubious shit. I'm sorry, um, uh, white white woman spotted. Oh my god, I, I still can't get over how, like, I I was waiting for him to say, like, some shit, like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, he doesn't actually say white woman spotted. Apparently, Choco also didn't know that white woman spotted was I, I not knew, the original translation. I knew, but, like, I was confused, because I'm like, okay, yeah, golden hair, and, or, like, I, like, it says, like, hair of gold and, like, in, like, crimson eyes, and I'm like, yes, yes, I remember it, and then it says something that's not, like, her clothes are white, as if they are a symbol of herself, was, like, missing, was, like, Oh, that's right. Yeah, that was a, that was a deception the whole time. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm remembering the dinosaur version of it that I wrote. Mm-hmm. Ah! Yeah, that was that was a huge waste. You should have posted that as like a stream promo or something at some point. I really yeah, should. Most have. people didn't even fucking see that. No, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so chat. I think I need some help because I am. Firmly in the camp of this character being in fan service, but Shane is denying that, me. I think that this character is definitely there's like the I've never seen so much like hype about Arthurian myth as I have in Fate. Yes, and I feel like Mordred is an extension of that. I don't think anyone wants Dino Shinji. I'll have Dino Shiki, but we will not have Dino Shinji. Uh, we can have Dino Shinji because the dinosaurs went fucking extinct. True. Oh, okay. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill this guy with meteors. Pro hyperfixation. Vote oh, pro hyperfixation. hyperfixation. <laughs> that's that's my governmental policy. Mordred, I feel, is a fan service character. Mordred is a fan favorite now, but in her original inclusion, I don't feel like they include her like, oh, yeah, people are going to love this. I feel like Nasu was just on some shit or whoever wrote it. <laughs> All of Lost Belt stuff is not specification. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, you know what? I know who I'm doing after this. Uh, and then after that, I'll do Drake. You know, sitting here with no knowledge of fate and Tsukihime, but it's been a fun experience. That's essentially what I like about these streams is I, I always hope that if someone doesn't know shit, they can just pop in and be like, what the fuck fever dream am I hearing What's about? What's going on here? It was Takeuchi's idea to put Mordred in Apocrypha. Mr. Saberface Maker himself. Oh. oh. I think, I think that this is a hyperfixation character. I think it is an, ex an extension of fucking. That that uh, sealed the deal for me. Essentially, this is go. a hyperfixation. It's oh. also my hyperfixation oh. Hold because that I love corner it. It's pissing me off. Never. You know the one. You do it right now. Hang the, on. the borders are enough even. Yes. 
Yes. I use the Tama mode Ooh. to size it, which is slightly oh, bigger. Oh, Tama is slightly. Well, we have to fix that too. Nah, I, I like I like the ears going slightly above. No, say 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 say. I like the ears popping up slightly. It gives it character. Okay. It gives right. it graphical balance. I swear, trust, right. trust. Hopefully, everybody knows who that is. Believe in um, system. Okay, but real quick, I know we have Drake on the table. We have Skaha, but before whoa. that, before fucking that. Uh huh. This character popped into my brain and I have to put him in right the fuck now. I can't remember if you know about this, Shane. Mm hmm Okay. Are we talking about Rasputin? Love of the Russian Queen? Or yeah. fucking Kotamine Kire? Uh, so... I'm gonna say... <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to say. <laughs> oh my god. Cuz I like they were talking about LB7 and it just suddenly made me think of this motherfucker. I feel like almost all of the face characters end up being fan service because otherwise why would they not just use a new depiction? Because this this is supposed to like it's like, hey guys, remember remember that fucking fuck ass priest? Yeah, yeah. And you're exactly. like, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Hang on yeah, one second, Shane. I need to yeah. run downstairs real fast, and I also need to use the bathroom. So you know what? All right. Since Rasputin's already been decided. Yeah. Let me grab one of the other ones that was brought up, mm -hmm. and I will let you discuss with chat while I am away. Mm-hmm. I'm all, ma, 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 you know what I'd realize it'd be really easy to Photoshop a dual disc onto this little this little portrait of me. Dog, you're so right. You ever think about how they call it a dual disc? Because the original one was like an actual disc, and then they were just like fucking like really cool looking like arm blades. Yes. Nothing disky about that, I'll tell you that much. Uh Boy, I'll tell you what. It's disky enough. Yeah. Yo, this is this is my dual discin. Okay. All right. Uh, I so I'm gonna pull them um, up. Okay. Get the sizing mostly right. We're gonna throw them up here for right now. Make your decisions. I'm gonna use the All bathroom, right, and then I'll give my two cents. I already have my thoughts on it, but I. Do you guys know? Do you guys know Raito has like a remix of this on his YouTube channel? He's got a lo-fi remix of this shit. It's immaculate. All right. Listen. I think. I I haven't played Fate Extra yet, um, and now that Extra Record is coming out in 2025, I don't think I'm going to play the original. Oh, this Drake. Okay, I thought we were talking about, like, Nero Dragon. Um, I feel like most of the Extra Servants are not included for fan service, with the exception of Arkawid and Nameless because they were all original to that game for the most part. Um, and they were just talking about some shit. We're always hearing about Drake's history and stuff. The Golden Hind, Hind, whatever. Do not even think about it. I think that putting this character in fan service just because her big boobies would be crazy. What are we saying? We we want we want Drake in or out of fan service. I have no idea. You think I know what the traits are in Fate Grand Order? I've just been like like armchairing that game for two years. Out of fan service. I think when a character's identity is hidden and it's like a big part of who they are. Like that when that's a big reveal, that's a hyperfixation character. That's not so being like, oh my god, you guys are never gonna believe this. Anyways, it's Ireland's child of light. I think that I'm not I don't know what the fuck Nameless is doing in Fate Extra, honestly, but I haven't played it, so. Ugh. 
I gotta play three. I gotta play two whole RPGs and then read Foxtail for it. Whoa, hello gamers. Whoop. I think nameless Being is a just large like fella has its disadvantages. Oh jeez. Don't trip. Okay. I think nameless is just uh like the extraverse version of Emia. Oh, and Oh my god. I'm back. Hello game. What do you mean it's playing the sad music? Okay. All right. Um let's slow down a little bit here. I think that chat seems to mostly agree that Drake is a hyperfixation character. Okay. Fun fact, my first ever research report, I was 10 years old, I did it on Sir Francis Drake. I see! Mm-hmm. I think it, their thing was, like, he was, like, the first person to, like, the first, like, colonist, which nowadays it, I use as a slur, uh, <laughs> but back then it was a historical term. <laughs> um, they were, like, the first colonist to, like, discover the Americas and be like, hey, this is not India, by the way. I see. Or something like that, I forget. I mean, you know, that's that's better than Christopher Columbus, I guess. Uh, Christopher Columbus, or Cristobal Colon, if you will. Um, that guy fucking sucks. Uh, in Fate, he also sucks, so good. Good, canon. Uh, <laughs> Christopher Columbus in FTO fucking rules because he's, like, such a shithead. He's <laughs> such a shithead. Like, I cannot think of someone who sucks more than Christopher Columbus off the top of my head. Like, immediately. He's, he is, like, comically evil. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. I'm gonna say I also agree. With Drake being the hyperfixation category. Yeah. Like, even if she has big baps, right? That's like, what I was saying. Like, the big boobs are just, there's the red herring. <laughs> they make Unless you... I feel like most of the Fate Extra Original Servants are there because Nasu wanted to say some shit. Mm -hmm. And, like, really, like, look into it. All right, well, real quick now. Mm-hmm. We got to pull her I up. I just wanted to play in the playground moment. Um, okay. Every, that is literally kind of the case in Unlimited Blade Works. The exceptions are uh, Gilgamesh because he's a fucker and Kotamine because he's a fucker and Shinji because he's a fucker. Kill him. I think Shinji should be killed with hammers. All right. We got Columbus Lily. Why the fuck? Okay, Columbus stop. Lily does exist. Yes. I gotta be honest, this is a tough one. Um, this is a character that nowadays, because of Scotty and stuff, yes, is uh, very popular with the fans. Straight up, we know we know this. We uh -huh. have observed it. Um, Kotamine gets that moment of heaven's feel. Actually, no, he doesn't. He didn't want to play in the playground. He wanted to see the world burn and then see if Angra Mayu or whatever fucking regretted it. Anyways. Um, Wait, but there, I, I can't say it because fucking, I don't want to spoil Heaven's Feel spoil for Heaven's someone. Heaven's Feel because now you can read it. Yeah, I don't want to spoil Heaven's Feel for someone because there's like one moment that happens with Kide. And when it happened, I was like, yeah, let's go. I gotta, I gotta read it, and then we'll we'll compare notes afterwards. Oh, uh, there's one point. The, he does get his one play in the playground moment, and it is fucking great. Mm, oh. All right. Who mentions her? However, I'm gonna say right now. Nasu's hyperfixation with Celtic lore, dude, is he wants to fuck insane. my people like so badly, dude. It's it's okay. So you know how there's that new like uh like Latina manga or whatever that's coming uh -huh. out like a light novel. <laughs> I look at that and I'm like, 
that sucks. I'm so sorry to all of my uh, Latin American <laughs> friends, right? Because at least, at least, like, Nasu, in addition to the fact that he wants to fuck all of the Ulster Cycle, like, he thinks they're really cool and writes all about them. The fucking yeah. Latina thing is, like, that is pure fetis fetis fetitization? Fetishization? Whatever. Of, of a culture, and that is gross. Don't like that. Don't not care a, much for that. Not a big fan of the fetishization. 30 on 30 on 30 on 30. Um, not a big fan of the Arthur's finish. I, I, I think Skaha seems like she would be fan service because I mean she's kind of wearing like a fucking cat suit with lingerie. But I think you have to remember the fucking Ulster cycle. I would say Scotty is fan service. I think Skaha is hyperfixation. Let's see. Okay. On one hand, you have Skaha's mention in uh, Hollow Ataraxia. Yeah. And you have her general design, which is a wooga wooga. But on the other hand, Nasu, like in your words, not mine, mm. really wants to fuck the Ulster cycle. The entire Ulster cycle, the not entire, just the entire. The entire. Dude, think about this. Think about this. Fucking Fate Stay Night first encounter Saber has is with fucking a, a fucking Celtic Lancer. Fate Zero, same goddamn shit. They both fucking kill her. They don't kill her. They kind of nick her with a with a red spear. And then it's funny because in the Unlimited Blade Works anime, she's like, hey, Shiro, can you heal me? He's like, no. Oh, my God. Because she's used to being piloted. That's not the correct word. She's used to being supported by Eurisfield. Yes. My beloved. All right, real quick. I'm getting the next one together. Uh, You know what? This is... Oh, that butler. Well, Thank you for the, the follow. All right, I'm I'm gonna say Skaha. Skaha is hyperfixation, 100. Uh -huh. I think. Mm -hmm. But okay, but now let's grab. This is Scotty. We'll do Scotty after this, but first, uh, this is this is vital to the survival of the human race. Okay. Okay. All righty, chat room. <laughs> <laughs> I, here's here's my thing. I have played through all of Fate Extella. Like Fate Extella, Fate Extella Link yes. multiple times. I still barely know anything about Elizabeth Bathory. Yeah. I know a lot about her as a fake character. I only know that I, I guess she's like Carmilla is also her. Because here's the funny thing. Okay, Omnis, enlighten me. She was revealed and advertised in CCC. Nobody knew who the fuck she was. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that because I know that we put John in like hyperfixation because of like her, her inception, right? Mm -hmm. She was just like, they were on some shit. But also remember that John is not that popular relative to Jolter right now. A uh, lot of people say I like Jolter because she's like John, but interesting. I, I I still I still look at Summer Joan and I would fight you over that. I'm not saying she's unlikable. I'm saying that overall, I would say that Jolter probably has more fans than John. I would agree with that, but also I feel like Liz is a character that was not put in originally because of fan service. But I feel like this is like a fucking, this is like, this basically to me feels like a fucking Fate OC. They they like reference every once in a while about like, oh, like she's a terrible singer or like, oh, I'm going to kill children and bathe in their blood because it'll keep me young forever or whatever. But like, God, she's the Halloween servant. You know what I mean? It still fucks how me up. How do you separate how? this Liz from all of her? Like, this is crazy. I will say, if this Liz does not go in fan service, every other Liz goes into fan service. 
I think that I think this this is a fan service character. I mm. think this is a character designed for like like they were they were refining she sucks I love her into an art form when they made this stupid bitch. Oh shit. That's a good point. The problem the problem is Liz isn't even that popular, but she keeps getting pushed. What do you call that a hyperfixation? She's popular to me. <laughs> Let me turn off Chris. You can let the people hear me. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. There. I'm sorry. I just downed like two pop tarts. I had to feel alive. Yeah. I've been eating too healthy lately. I needed to needed to make my I needed to humble myself. Yeah, let's let, you, things have been going pretty pretty steady for a little while. <laughs> let's introduce a little bit of risk. Yeah, exactly. Liz and CCC and Liz and Go feel like two separate characters. Wait till you hear about my wife. Oh, baby. That's my wife. Not a big fan of the Halloween. Not a big fan of the Halloween. All right. All right. It looks like we got some people trickling in. So I'll explain every fate servant. Okay. You guys see that meme where it's like, okay, every, every video game is either parkour or menus. Yes. Right. So it's like, okay, like you think that maybe, uh, what is it? So like Mario, obviously that's parkour, Final Fantasy, menus. Mm -hmm. And it's like Destiny, despite having a lot of movement, is actually menus, stuff like that. This is what we are doing. Every Fate Servant is either fan service or a hyperfixation. And we are trying our best to sort them out. And for uh, context, you know, <clears throat> Fan service, something that makes the fans happy, whether it's a wooga wooga big sexy, right. or oh my god, that's Kotomine Kire from hit video game Fate Stay Night. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the Carlin. You got game. it. You got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, but with servants. And me personally, I'm looking at Liz. I want to say it is, I want to say hyperfixation. <sighs> I guess, but I, I feel like in all of the time that we've spent with Liz in our several, in the Fate Extra, Fate Excel Live Dub and the Fate Go Live Dub, I still don't know fucking anything about her history, which I feel like has been a big part of hyperfixation is Nasu wants to tell us about what you read about on Wikipedia. Yes, but here's what, here's what I'm going to say. Okay. I think that it is Nasu hyperfixated with his own dumb idea. Okay. He has an agenda that he wants to push no matter what the fuck the fans think. That's what I'm thinking. I I will accept it. Yeah, Liz I has become every, a running gag. Every <laughs> other Liz belongs in fan service. 100%, I, I agree. I don't care if you guys think she's pushed. She's a fan favorite of mine. I, I love Liz. God damn it. I love Liz. I like Liz what a, a lot. What a fucking idiot. All right. All right, all right, all right. We need to fill up the fan service one. All right, all right. Who, who's a fan service? Oh, this is easy. Mr. Actually. Electric, bring to the witness stand that fuck ass scythe from Grand Blue. Uh, that wasn't what I was going to pick up immediately, but. All right. Wait, who you got? Fan service. Yeah, immediately. I actually, fan okay, hold service. on, hold on. Let me. Let me give it a fair shake. I don't know, because uh, this is our next. This is next on our docket, right? Yeah. Yes, actually. I feel like Shizuki Sojiro. <laughs> oh my God, are we. That's that's ridiculous. What? That is so. There is no argument for Shizuki <laughs> fucking to go anywhere outside of fan service. <laughs> He's our little guy. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of little guy, hang on. I'm gonna... But... Let me go... He's but, just a boy. But... But... <laughs> I literally just sent the, sent the Shizuki sticker in my DMs and, then, and screen yeah. capped it just to put it there. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Oh, there we go. Let's try to snap to the quick size. Um, yeah, I don't know about uh, Muramasa, to be honest. Where's Zoe? Zoe, hey! Zoe. We're 
We're gonna have uh, them pop up up there so that way it keeps the line clear. Okay, so okay, yeah. That's a good point. Um, for Muramasa. This is a character, I think they're like, hey, who the fuck is Shiro most like as a servant? This guy who really likes swords, obviously. Yeah. Would, without going spoiler territory, fan. Oh, fans are immediately fans. Ooh, done. Say no more. Oh, oh I my see God. that you moved Altera the exact way I would have moved Altera. Excellent. Okay. All right. So we so we have we have two here. Let's let's go a step further, shall we? I'm because I want to fill up this column just a little bit more, right? Just to make things out fair. Order. Are you putting who I think you're putting next? Uh, well, uh, let me take a look real quick. One of my one of my favorite tuba players of all time. Not yet. Okay. She's new. She's the hot stuff. There's literally no, unless we want to say that Nasu has a fucking fixation with the, Catholic, the Catholic Church. Church. Now, Ciel herself. She. Okay, hold on. Wait, listen. As a servant, fan service, no debate whatsoever. Yes. As a character in general. Have you seen her talk about the Black Keys? Yes. Have you seen her talk about curry? <laughs> Have you seen her just talk about things that are meant to be stand-ins for the Catholic Church? Oh, man. Well, this is within the confines of FGO. Sure. So I'm going to say to... Fan service. It's I'm going to say fan service. service. I'm going to say fan Put service. Put her in. Mr. Electric, put her in. That's my senpai, dude. Oh, Koo Caster's a good one. I, that's... Ooh, ooh, oh, it's it's tough. That's a tough one because on one hand, another Ulster Cycle motherfucker. On the other hand, Koo Hullen was the, one of the original servants of Fate Stay Night. All right, this, this is a good picture of Caster Koo. I'm a big fan. This is big shit-eating energy. I feel, I feel like, um, I feel like this is just more of Nasu fucking going off, being like, hey, did you know that actually Ku Holland did all these things and he's super cool and really awesome and he can do anything, you know? Ku Caster is abs- Everyone is saying hyperfixation. Three in a row. A unique form of fan service TBH. That's Trent that said that though, so put it in hyperfixation. Oh my god! You are on some next level hating. But also, I agree. However, however, I'm about to counter everything with our next okay. choice. Let's see it. Let's see it. I'm watching intently. You 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 better watch I'm intently. I'm listening and learning. Live and learn. Hang on the edge of tomorrow. Okay, all right. This fan yep. fiction ass motherfucker. That is a fan fiction ass motherfucker. There is nothing about this. This feels the most like this is Nasu's like. All right, I'm tired. I'm tired of renting the Ulster cycle. I'm ready <laughs> yeah, to grow my I'm own. I'm ready to you know own I mean? it. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, quite literally, just turn from what the fan fiction. Was evil. <laughs> all right, you know what? Morgan's good. I like Morgan. Oh, God, that's hard. Because Morgan has been waiting in the wings in Fate since as early as Fate's Day Night. Fate Apocrypha. And Fate's... I guess Fate... Because Mo was Morgan the Lady of the Lake? No, Nimue is the Lady of the Lake. Right? I believe Nimue is the Lady of the Lake. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked it doesn't snap to the size of CL. I made Morgan is Nimue. Okay. Oh, Morgan is Nimue? Okay. In this case. <clears throat> I see. Aren't almost all the altars just fan service? It depends. We we will we will see about that. Morgan, Morgan is literally is three people in fate. People. Morgan, Nimue. Oh, that's crazy actually. Okay. I gotta be honest, I feel like Morgan is a hyperfixation character. I feel like this is this is a character that Nasu was so gassed up about the fucking 
the the knights of the round table in our three and lore not to mention just... not to mention not to mention part of her story also spills into the ulster cycle if i recall no fucking way dude <laughs> oh wait is there there's not a um there's not no wait yeah because one of them isn't one of the fucking fairy knights like they're Fairy all Tam three. Lin. They're all three Tamlins. And Tamlin is another <laughs> alias of fucking Kuhalin, right? <laughs> yeah, there are multiple things that I can't talk about that I know are very Ulster. So I'm going to say hyperfixation. That is a hyperfixation character. She may be a fan favorite. But that is, I think this is an example of they made a character that they really, they were really excited about. And they put a ton of like thought and care and like wanted to stuff all this important stuff. And also it just that, that passion <laughs> resonated with the fan base to make her a pretty popular character. Because there's only like, there's like one or two Morgans right now, right? There are two currently. Yes, because there's like Esk or whatever. I think it's Tanelico. Yeah. Yeah, it's Tanelico. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Tanelico. I've only ever heard it pronounced as Artanel. I, I heard someone say like Talanico, and I heard that, and I'm like, there's Tone no way to <clears throat> Aisk is the yeah. English name, Tanelico is the Japanese name. Naruhodo, Naruhodo. Right, gotcha. What does it turn to realizing the most fake characters are high fixations on myth unless they're OCs, unless they're demi servants? Ye a little bit. A little now, bit. Just I, to. To prove that claim wrong, bring bring me a thirst trap, Mr. Muffler Man. I, I was Dr. already one Doctor, step ahead. Give me the news. I got a bad case. All right. I'm not going to try to think of something that rhymes that relates to thirst trap because then it's, I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. <sighs> On one hand... I he definitely has a lot of lore behind him. On the other lore. hand, <laughs> golden. Like I don't, I don't know shit about historical Kintoki, and I don't need to know shit. There's dude. a little bit of like the only thing in terms of like Kintoki lore I know is like him and Tamamo are like, hey, aren't you kind of? And then he's like, yeah. I I have to say just because. Uh, this is a character that was designed to just be like a silly guy. He's a silly feel. guy and uh, his titties are larger than his brain. I want to say he goes here. Mm -hmm. I think that his uh, that porch is a little <laughs> big or something. But okay. it, don't worry. It's it's fine. I, I realize you're not snipping with a square tool. So oh, I no, I'm it. using a fucking b -b 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 Civic tool. I'm using share X. Oh, OK. <laughs> Are you allowed to ask for your bowl? I, I got you. Hang on. People are allowed to ask for anything. I just can't guarantee the order because um, I'm bad at paying attention. We, we had a request for uh, Nero like 20, 30 minutes ago. Okay, then I will bring in Nero soon. Uh, I'm, I again, don't want to get buried. Because, I am bad. Uh, I know where I want that character to go. I I have a feeling on where I, I want don't know where I want the character, character to, go. to go. I'm losing I'm losing sight of myself. I am the shadow, the truth self. All right, so Billy the kid, Ugh! I'm dying, Squirtle. So Billy, we're gonna, this we're gonna is, size this, this little is, guy up bit here. Yeah. Billy the kid is Nasu embracing his inner rawhide Kobayashi. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought that was Summer Musashi. Summer Musashi herself is Rawhide Kobayashi. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Nobody actually expected him to show up. Nasu, Nasu Wiki scroll the, the Western genre. Yeah. Mm, what's this all about? He was and doing like, some oh research God. for America, and he's like, "Hey, yo, this Billy the Kid guy is cool as fuck." He's like, oh, what's his name, Billy? And he's a kid? <laughs> All right, I got this. Takeuchi, come here. Actually, I don't know. Who was who was Billy the Kid's artist? That was not I, Takeuchi. I, it was definitely not Takeuchi. I'd know that face anywhere. 
all three of them. <laughs> that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I think for my own credit, that's the best joke I've ever told on this channel. I think it's downhill from here. I I just saw a Takuchi face discourse earlier today. I don't remember why. It, it it's an unending cycle of like, no matter who gets elected for president, we're gonna get five more years of Takuchi same face discourse. Yep. Which will then lead to more three houses. She has some banger designs. Like Saber is like such a strong fucking design. Like both in her like casual outfit and her like armor. Ah. But then like sometime I think. Oh, it was definitely like, because uh, of uh, Spaceyel Ascension. Because like mm. Spaceyel Ascension isn't even same face. It's same outfit. And like general they, design, I think they they are they are on some shit. I, I it's a motif thinking, thing though. I trust. I, I am trust. trusting the process. With I love making it. Arkwood and CL look fucking nearly identical. I I I trust the process. I think that design's dope. Uh, but I, I do love the idea of she's like, man, I fucking hate Arkwood, and she just becomes blue Arkwood. <laughs> this is and this can't is the only her yellow ad. <laughs> Being the bestie. All right, I'm gonna say for Billy the Kid though. That's what I think. Yeah, I think I think we definitely all came to that conclusion pretty quickly. Yeah, and now, who oh boy, I'll this one's in. difficult in my bring opinion. In. I'm bringing her in. Hang on, I have to bring. I have to find just the correct image. Please understand, there are too many perfect oh. ones. Oh, the beast is demonic in nature. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't help myself around you. All right. Um, so here's the thing. Nero Claudius is one of the three main servants from Fate Extra and goes on to be extremely significant in the Extella timeline as well, which yes. is technically slightly different. Yes. Um, and they spent a lot of time exploring the various facets of the Emperor Nero's personality and how it could perhaps be spun to be less horrifying and more endearing. Because yes. Nero Claudius was not a well-liked... Nero was well-liked by his people, but not by historians of the nobility. And I think the fact that they represented that by making Nero a fuckhead but very likable is shows a tremendous amount of respect for I almost said the source material. That's just history. My bad. <laughs> um, this is like on Wednesday when I said, Oh my god, we're like a platonic polycule and you're like, Yeah, like a friend group. I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the lore <laughs> when you're referring to literal fucking history oh god see I understand that and you know I played Fate Extra and I played through the narrow route but it's so hard to separate the fact that they literally made her look exactly like Artoria but red at a glance mm -hmm. and like that's the big thing that would like Normally, I would go hyperfixation 100%. However, she's so tied to being a saber face. Because, like, let's let's be real she here. The, she was the first duplicate saber because Fate yeah. Extra came out in 2010. She was, like, the first big duplicate saber. And I'm like, that's a lot to, to have rest on your shoulders. In, in her essence... I, okay, here's the thing, though. When Nero appears, she is always saying something about Rome. Yes. And part of that is definitely because, like, her... It's part of her, like, arrogance or whatever. She's kind of up her own ass. Yes. But at the same time, like, I know more about Roman history. This is my Roman Empire. Do you understand? <laughs> You're going to be I, so disappointed when you actually pick up the history books and you're going to be like, no, 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 no. I already, I already know. Did you know that Nero? So I actually knew a little bit about Emperor Nero because I was really into Devil May Cry 4 when I yes. was like 12. Yes, yes, yes. 
and I looked up like, what, what's this name all about? Because I've never seen somebody named Nero before. And obviously, the the most famous example is Emperor Nero Claudius yeah. of Rome. And I remember, uh, I maybe I saw like a documentary or something on it, but um, Nero's mom hated him so much that when they went to overthrow the the dynasty through or whatever, like perfect timing um <laughs> you guys are gonna like this they went to like kill her and like stabbed her and then she says no stab me here and then like points to like her wounds like from where he came from because she fucking hated her son so much that goes so Crazy. hard it's kind of intense okay but like so it's, it's the thing where like you can tell they took a lot of inspiration from nero's life and like everything there. But then also it's like, hey guys, here's Saber again. And we're gonna use her for a ton of marketing stuff mm -hmm. and April Fool's jokes. And like also her ass is out and her entire lower half is out and she's got the baps and, but she's Saber, Saber, Saber. It's Saber! I like Zoe's idea. I think that's the coward's way out. I think you're right. I think we have to make... It's just like acting. We have to make a choice. No one likes a half-hearted read that get, tries to get everything. Allegedly. I would just I would just send in two takes. Um, I think that... If I had to choose one, I think that... No, with it... Padoru Padoru, that's what I was referring to with all of the, the April Fool's shit and, like, all of that. Like, it, it's, it is fucking... Okay. Put her in fan service. Put her in fan service. I'm gonna ask chat. Yo, do we do we pull this? This is pull important. It. Pull it. This is important. This is so important. I, can't... I, can, I can set this up real quick, actually. All right, you, you set up the poll. I, I cannot leave this up to just my own discretion. Actually, Speckle brings up an excellent point. It depends on the scope of things. Is it all of Type Moon or is it specifically Fate Grand Order? Uh, because for Seattle, we said it was it was Fate, but that to be fair, that's outside that of the purview CL. of Fate. That servant CL. Yes, I'm gonna say for all of the purview of Fate, not just Grand Order. Right, because we already placed Jean and Morgan because of their roles outside of Fate Grand Order. Yes. All right. Like Sojiro, for example, God, would I, I? I would potent. I would. I would. I would potentially put him in hyperfixation if we were talking about everything. I wouldn't. But I, that that is that is a character. Like we don't really learn. Eh, oh, get the passenger pigeons. Okay. Messenger pigeon. That's Kumari, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, but he was listening, and then he was like, man, that's fucked up. Also, they're the fucking alligators and shit, all the different jobs. Oh, my God. I cannot wait for the Sojuro PowerPoint video to be done. It's almost be done. It's been almost done for like a year, and I haven't released it because I'm bad at this content creation thing. We're going we're gonna to leave this running for three minutes, so get your votes in, okay? All right, Ooh. all right, all right. Do do we keep do we keep up Nero here and like we and let the people decide her fate, Piccolo, or uh, do we uh, do we do we start moving on while the poll goes? Well, it's only three minutes. I mean, I can entertain myself very quickly uh, during right. three minutes. Well, uh, why don't we why don't we queue up the next servant then? You no, know no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I think. It's time for everyone, the return of everyone's favorite radio play. Uh, I'm going to describe the pieces oh of God. Wada Arco artwork that I see I, I in gotta, this book. I gotta get that book. I'm ordering that book right the fuck now. Hold on. All right, real Hold quick. On, we're, we're, we're gonna talk about this. Shane isn't here. It's a shame. Uh, I don't have him set up in this scene, but I'll do that later. So, uh, while this poll runs. Ooh, this Wada is a... Arco, Ellen Book's bonus item. This is a nice little oh. shot. It's a... Uh, you have Nameless and Nero and Tamamo, and it's like a it's like a splash page on all white, and this looks as if it is a piece of artwork from Fate Stella. Hmm. I sure wish I could see it. I'm kind of pissed that you have the limited edition. Is it Excella or Excella Link? 
Uh, I have the limited edition of Extella. Oh my god, dude. I Extella Link for a very long time was like the limited edition was available on uh, like Amazon or something, and I just never bought it because I'm like, I don't really think I need it. And like, oh, I'll get around to it when I get around to it. Because like, I didn't really get into Fate until I watched the limited play works in like late 2020. And then like, I still, okay, well, you know, that was pretty good. But then, and now it's like, where well, I'm like all the way down. I'm like, part of me wishes I had that a little bit. But God whatever. damn, this literally, I'm in the FGO section right now. And it has like every single fucking narrow costume. What is uh what is that thing? Oh my goodness. Wada Arco Fate Artworks. This is $135. Come on, help me out. Mine was not that much, thank you. What is what is what is the book called? Love Wada Arco. Spelled like we think it's spelled. L-O-V-E Wada Arco. Uh, fate uh, artwork collection, I believe, is what it is called. Mm. No, it's it's oh. Love Water Arco Fate Artworks, and it has Nero making the heart symbol with yeah, the finger. Oh, I've, I'm I'm familiar with it. Water Arco art book love. Da, 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 da. It looks like maybe it's just not like available on Amazon anymore. Oh shit! I've gotten to the Liz's. Oh god, there's so many Liz's. Mm-hmm. Both mecha lizzes. Oh my god. Hold on. Reen just appeared in my timeline. Oh, it's a little baby nursery rhyme. It goes hard as fuck, dog. Holy shit! Robin Hood without the shirt. Yeah. This is good. Fan service, the people have spoken. It's I I have to agree with it. Uh, so so we are in agreement. Narrow despite having Listen. So There's much history has wrong been banished. With being a fan service type servant. It's not like being a hyperfixation servant makes them better or more justified. Uh, no, I agree with you. I will agree with you. Also, uh, we have a line reading that I got to do real quick here. Oh, this is perfect with the theme that just showed up in the playlist. Oh man, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, dude. Let me let me get into what character. What the fuck are you about to read? Ciel, Ciel, help! I need holy water. Ciel, help! Freequaid is gonna drag me to eternal damnation with her vam- I'm not saying that part. Please! Please, Ciel! It's weird. <laughs> because, like, it's not really- it just sounds kind of- I got it, to that, too. I, like, I see that part, and I'm like, that's not funny, Vamp. That is not very funny vamp of you, stranger. Okay, now we have the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 13 Sentinels. Oh my god, dude. Hey, yo, is C5 vacation on this shit? Yo, I, I think that's in the playlist somewhere. Oh! Oh! All right, All right. so, so, who do we have queued up next? Uh, um... You know, we've done Tamamo... Might as well do Nameless. Is that I was about to say, we might as well do Emiya at this point. Uh, Emiya is a... That is a fan service servant. Because there was no... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, let's let's calm down here. Let's calm down here. Let's not be hasty. Let's not be hasty. I think at this point, like, of course... You, I, my first thought... At first blush, I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking, well, of course he's a fan service servant. He's not based on any historical figure. And then I remembered he's based on every historical figure. Yes. He is right? literally with unlimited blade works. And he's also literally like part of the Guardian Force. Right. So he's part right. of Nasu's own lore. With that that he made he in his own Nasu's head. Lore, but they use him. And like his various like weapons and stuff that he uses to explore um, other historical figures, like what's it? His swords are Byakya and Kancho. Yeah, Kancho Byakya. And then there's also uh, uh, fucking Kaladabalg. Yep. What else does he use? He technically has Excalibur, I believe. Is it Excalibur or Caliburn? It might be Caliburn. All remember. of Fate Emia is hyperfixation. 
That is what Zoe says. I would agree with putting Fate Emia in hyperfixation, 100%, yeah. because it is just Nasu being like, oh. oh he hey. wanted to tell us. I mean, also, he was. That's, that was his fucking OC, dude. Yeah. In the original Fate Stay Night, he is the one servant that has no historical bearing. Yes. Fucking. Oh, oh hey. Uh, Rin. Uh, look at how many swords I can have. Oh, oh. Takeuchi, check out this cool server. And also, like, what is the first thing he does is he explains who Ku Hullen is to the fucking audience. That is true. That That's is not the true. first thing he does. The first thing he does is bust people and then be fucking, like, bitchy as shit to Reem, but honestly, she kind of had just, I just remembered the Fate Stay Night randomizer where it just oh threw my. all the With CGs. random PNGs <laughs> fall down? That shit was crazy, dude. Ah! I can't believe that wasn't edited because some of those had text on them. Yes! Is this oh. CL's team? This is uh, the, the scene that plays on the train when Tono is talking about CL's thing. CL's thighs. Yeah. All right, so definitely Emiya is in hyperfixation. However, uh, mm -hmm. Emiya Alter. That's, yeah. That's. That's fan service. That is, they are, people wanted to know more about, like, Emiya himself as opposed to, like, as an extension. I, can I be honest? I fucking hate calling the servant Emiya. I know we're probably not going to find anybody who doesn't know in this chat right now, but, like, goddamn, dude, when you don't know and you go and you watch or you read Unlimited Blade Works for the first time, that shit's crazy. That shit is crazy. Also, Travis, uh, congratulations for almost hitting your goal. I am super happy for you, my dude. And thank you for the 11 months, gamer. This was not a Nasu decision. Takeuchi wanted to see an Emiya alter in Go. That's fine. Oh. Not everything has to do with Nasu's hyperfixations and stuff. We tend to attribute a lot of things. Is that attribute or tribute? Whatever. It's uh, a tribute. To Nasu a tribute. that aren't necessarily him because he's just, it's just like he's the face. He's the person we associate. You know, he's the director and producer of the main works. No, yeah, he's but... the John Cena of Type Moon. You never see him? Well, he's the face of the company. Okay. Though Is I guess John now... Cena the face of WWE right now? He was the face of the WWE for a long time. However, the face of the company now is Roman Reigns. Hmm. But I would say uh, Emiya Alter 100% is in fan service. 100%. Yes, I would agree with that. I don't... I don't... Yeah. All right. Um, let's, let's see. see. We've done... Um, da, 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 da. Um, I think we need... We need to give... Bring me a saucy servant, my guy. How so We need to decide. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me let me think about this for a sec. A saucy servant. Saucy, saucy, mm -hmm. saucy, mm -hmm. saucy. We got Edmund Dante. Raiko. We got Raiko. Oh god. Um. I have, I have no idea. I have no idea about Raiko. I assume she's a fan favorite now. But I don't know if, if, like, she just really goes off on, like, you know, Japanese history or so something. So, one thing I'm going to say is that because we've brought up Raiko, mm -hmm. I can I can now uh, throw my significant other under the bus real quick. Okay. Uh, and I will let chat decide what happens. Um, so, here's Raiko. Yes. Um, anytime I talk about Raiko with my significant other... Mm. Uh, they will turn to me immediately and go, that bitch is ugly. Like, without hesitation. Is that, is that, is that how we value people? Uh, not necessarily. Wow. It is just that uh, Bullet does not like this character's design. I think And that, I think that that's valid in a gacha game. I think it's somewhat gratuitous in some ways. but It I is think gratuitous. However, it's a gotcha game, so I'll give it I wouldn't the completely throw the character away over it. I don't know anything about her. I do know. Uh, I don't know much about her. I know a little about her. Me, me personally, she. I know she has her historical attachment to Legend. However, they wrote this character to 
to literally be your mommy in like yeah. the weird fucked up she's sexy big, way she? she's very large does she, does she qualify as a nasu big lady i would not qualify her as a nasu big lady Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to say fan service for Raiko solely because okay. every time she's been on screen, she's like, oh, let mother take care of you. It's okay. And I'm over here just like, I... I uh, Camilla Fire Emblem. Your Honor, let's move on. And you know what? Uh, I know exactly where this is going. I'm going to go with what people have been saying in chat here in a moment. However, right, right. Um, I I have an agenda. Please listen to my vision. Uh, this is this will be vital for the survival of the human race. Oh my god! What the <laughs> fuck, dude? I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. What the fuck does this servant do? <laughs> uh, she loves you a lot, uh, a little too much. <laughs> oh, do you think you think that this is this is a fan service servant just because of how how interested she is in player character uh i mean it, it, it goes up to like yandere levels i don't know anything about i don't think kiyohime is used is either a product of or used to um express nasu's interest in something I can't call Kyo fan service because she was originally revealed as a servant in a Tight Moon April Fools event by Tamamo, and then she was added in FGO. Oh, but that. Oh, well, why, I, why does that disqualify her though? That feels really fan servicey though. That's exactly like what what the thing with the hyperfixation servants is. They are all either like they're a condensed version of their history or something, or. It's just somebody that, for whatever reason, uh, somebody at Type Moon thinks is really neat. All I know is that she was pen pals with Tamamo, and uh, she really, really, really likes you. And other than that, FGO has done very little to explain anything about her history to me in its actual story. From what I have read so far. So I want to say she is in fan service. I I think I'm going to drop her in the fan service bucket. Now for a hard one, maybe. All Let right. Because it was said in chat, and I'm a yeah. slut for this character, so... Oh, my. Watch the corner of your screen with intentions of a fucking hunter. Do it. I'm watching. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. We did the fucking... We did his fucking event. I don't fucking know anything about this dude. Now this character... I want to say... I want I, to say hyperfixation. Is it? I feel like he's featured so frequently and he's in Melty Blood, dude. He is featured a lot, but... Oh, Nasu really wanted him in FGO! Nasu is obsessed, apparently. That makes a lot of sense that he would really want the Count of Monte Cristo for how well he fleshed out this character in the event, in my opinion. And how much he continues to throw him into the events. I I want to say hyperfixation. I want to say hyperfixation. Oh, Miss Crane. That might be good. Because he felt the King of the Cavern anime did a perfect adult Dante's, so he wanted a younger t What what do you think, Shane? Um I don't really have a strong opinion one way or another. I think that hyperfixation, if people are saying that Nasu really fucking likes his character, is probably fine because while I've heard of the phrase Monte Cristo before, yes. it wasn't until uh Melty Blood that I thought anything about it. Okay. Um, this is like, yeah, like, a, like I had heard the phrase before, but I didn't understand the meaning at all. Everything I know about Monte Cristo stems from learning it through fate for uh, the not supers. Talk about a character we hate. That's so easy. 
I, I just, I don't remember things that I hate very well unless they're constantly put in front of me. You know what I mean? I just kind of ignore them. There we go. All right. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't, I don't know. Like, fan service for what? Nobody likes him. Hyperfixation for who? Like... <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do with this guy. I guess the fact that they thought of him at all meant they must have been really interested in like pirate history. No, yeah, a lot of people actually do like Blackbeard. Yeah, but we haven't gotten there yet. I, so I'm still, I'm still scarred by some of his dialogue in Okeanu. I'm going to say, him in last year's summer event, he's so good. <laughs> He's so good. He was so good at last year's summer event, dude. I guess I don't really know anything about Edward Teach besides his name, so he's probably fan service. Which is I... crazy because this <laughs> character is fucking vile when he launched. Him and Okeanu is fucking miserable. It's so. It's like. I mean, it's not like I can't read what he was saying, but like, I was like, man. What I remember there were points where we were just like, and we're not saying that. I mean, I could have said it. It like I was ready to read it, but then I'm like, I think like we we sh we access the brain cell at the same time, and I was like, I don't really want to read this, and you're like, I don't really want to hear this. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, okay. This is so. This is one that Zoe a brought up. This is a character okay. that you don't know, but I do know. Okay. But I. There we go. I had to find the perfect shot. <sighs> Excuse me. You are correct. That looks like a fucking VTuber. What are we doing? <laughs> this, is, this is a fucking live 2D model. So, uh, her name is Miss Crane. She is the dressmaker. Um, She stems... Oh, this is the one from the idol event? Yes, she is from the idol event. And she's essentially Nasu's voice for his idol fixation is very I, true. I, given what I know about the idol event and what Zoe is saying, I think that would put her in a hyper fixation column. That, as well as the, the fact that I believe her existence is based off of an old, is the, uh, based off of the old fairy tale of the crane. Mm hmm. So I'm wanting to say hyper fixation. I don't think this character was brought in to appeal to fans. I think that this is a character that happened to become popular because they were created with sincerity and love. I, I like Miss Crane a lot. I, I feel kind of bad that I did not try to roll for her at the time. She also, in fact, has direct connections to Roman. My boy, I miss you. Roman, come back home. I just want my boy back. I want to voice my boy every week so I have an excuse to turn on the megaphone filter and be really, really scared all the time. Hmm. <sighs> all right. Now we have Miss Kudane. Vlad. You know what? Let's 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 do the Vlad double feature. Hmm. Let's get both Vlads on screen. I, I really don't know about that character. He, I am familiar with Vlad Extra because I played Extra. Vlad of uh, Lancer of Black, I am less familiar with. Well, I mean. But I also experienced him in France, so. Yeah, he doesn't have a huge role there. All right, we're gonna size these bastards right up here. Uh, boom, boom. Get y'all here. Size. Apocrypha Vlad is a hyperfixation. I I think like I could see it, but at the same time, like that's fucking Dracula, dude. He looks like a fucking like Castlevania character. I feel like this this was a hey guys, look at this kind of thing for Fate Apocrypha. No, yeah, I Vlad can, the heinous, bloody that. impaler, and then Vlad the hero of Romania. Huh. So for me personally, because these two are so far apart, mm -hmm. 
I feel like they would both be in hyperfixation. That's fine. That's what I think. I have no uh, objections. I can believe it. Because Vlad, um, the hero of Romania, is a character... Uh, wow, the fucking borders shrink as you go down like crazy. <laughs> Vlad, the hero of Romania, is a character they specifically researched for his other feats and historical things because, like, everybody knows Vlad the Impaler, yes. Vlad Tepic, is Dracula. But in the, he does have a moment in Fate Apocrypha where he is forced kind of against his will to become Dracula, but he is very much more than that. And I think doing that kind of, like, research... Uh, speaks to like a, a hyper fixated interest. Yes, I would agree with that. Let me see now. Um, let's let's uh let's let's uh let's recalibrate here. Let's recalibrate. Okay. We'll go with. Come on. Hang on, I just uh, needed the perfect image for him. He's important. Okay. There we go. Okay, that is hyperfixation. I have to get him to the right size. So, chat. Shane says hyperfixation. I also think hyperfixation. Do you know why? Because I didn't know fucking anything about the epic of Gilgamesh until Fate. I Gilgamesh is a character in Final Fantasy, which is a series that I grew up with. Uh, I didn't know fucking anything about it until fucking Fate. Yeah. They are so fixated <laughs> on Gilgamesh in, hype, in fucking Mesopotamia, they made an entire singularity for him, and they won't <laughs> stop putting him in shit, dude. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that was he easy. He may be a fan favorite, but it's also partially because, like, they won't stop fucking putting him in things. He's in, like, everything, dude. I think he's in every fate. He's in every fate except, like, maybe Apocrypha in, in Elmaloy and Strange Fake. He's in Extra. He's in Stay Night. He's in Zero. I mean, he's in Elmaloy, technically. God, is he? Yeah, because you flash oh, back to Fate Zero when he's a, when he's fighting Iskandar. You're so right. We can't get away from this guy. <laughs> he's in Samurai Remnant. Let me see here. I am trying to find... There's so much fucking fan art of this goddamn character. I there keep on go. wondering. I see some people, like, well, sometimes... I think, actually, like, uh, one, like, Twitter artist... Well, sometimes, um, why are you doing this? The pulse <laughs> cycle. <laughs> Just because we think she's a cute bitch does not mean she belongs in fan service. All right, but hear me out. All right, I'm listening. A lot of her existence is also fucking like being like, oh, I'm going to make some fucking fan fiction, dude. Yeah, but that's that's her. And we, it's about kind of how she's received by the fan base or how she's intended to be she received by the fan base. Okay, okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's that's kind of where I'm coming at it from. Okay, that's hyperfixation. Okay, Maeve goes in hyperfixation. I think that um <laughs> she has a so, fatal conceptual weakness to cheese. Yeah, yeah, true, true, that, true, true. The the fact I was literally thinking about it, like the fact that that is what kills her. That says shit is everything. So that shit is so good. Um, but yeah, like Gilgamesh, I think sometimes about like, do I just dislike Gilgamesh? I like, I kind of like Gilgamesh, but because he's basically the primary antagonist of UBW, which is my introduction to Fate. Like, it took me a very long time to warm up to him at all, and I wonder if I would like him more if he was a like a woman. And I wonder if that makes me a terrible person. <laughs> oh my god! You know what I mean. You ever feel that way? Like, there are some fucking terrible characters that we really like. But, like, wow, she fucking sucks. Like, we just placed Maeve, you know? Like, if Maeve was a guy, I don't know if I would like him. I, I, I definitely would. Am I a would. terrible person? I definitely would. I definitely would still love them. Because I like fucking Adachi, dude. Like, I'm terminal. It's over for me. Yeah. 
Anyways, I'm not sure if I would like Gil more as a girl or not. I so so let's not worry about it too much. Oh my god, this character. I if there's I don't know if there's like a history lesson behind this character's inclusion. I all I know he was a new character. He was like added after Astolfo. Yes. Who was Astolfo was the introduction to the Paladins of Charlemagne. And Charlie is the like the head of the Okay, okay. Yeah, We're yeah. We're not yeah, even yeah. typing hyperfixation anymore. We're just saying hyper. What is funny? What is funny? They made two versions of him. I want to know what's funny. Game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't gotta tell me. <laughs> I know. I was there. I played it. <laughs> I I, I need yesterday. I definitely need to actually play Extella Link. That game is so fun, dude. That game is might be one of my favorite Muso games. Period. All right, so we have Charlemagne pegged. Now let's Man, go. You ain't gotta it like that. On a different axis. Okay. At this point, we we all Come knew on. it was going to happen. I've been waiting for this. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'm gonna pull up Google Image Search because it would just make this easier. As opposed to what? Using, I've been using like... DuckDuckGo. Oh God. Because I, mean, I like DuckDuckGo in principle, if if they are to be as benevolent as they say. But at the same time, um, their search algorithm isn't quite as good. I think you can use Google Search through DuckDuckGo or something. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, because like I know in general, I just don't like using Google anymore. Cause uh. It, it suck. sucks. It suck. Fucking suck. I'm curious to see what the results of that uh, investigation were. That hey, you're a monopoly. Like I want to see what what happens because of that. All right, here we go. I have the image now. Yeah, that's the one. How the fuck were you not able to find this on DuckDuckGo? Uh, because DuckDuckGo's image I search think that's is literally the awkward. fucking like image that was attached to the cosplay I bought. That's powerful. Yeah. Astolfo? I, okay, so here's what I'm going to say about Astolfo. I Yours? feel like in your head immediately you would want to be like fan service, but then understand this character I believe the the cultural impact of this character was a tragic accident. Yes. There are two lines in the original works that describe like the Paladins of Charlemagne that, ex that explains Astolfo. Yes. Everything else is made up at the same time this this character was definitely designed for a certain kind of uh, fan. I believe so. Would go into hyperfix because this character has many people's introductions to the paladins of Charlemagne and of course the cultural impact. But oh man, I'm so torn. Was there a femboy character in Fate before Astolfo? Hyperfixation that annoying people have turned into fan service. I'm seeing a lot of hyperfixation. That's true. However, do we want to be the, controversial, Shane? Is the crowd always right? Do we want to be controversial, is Shane? The, are the masses wise? I. No, there's no middle. There's no middle there here. No, so it's, it's got to be one or the other. If if we were doing middles, Nero would have straddled it. Yeah, ne Nero would have been cut Nero's in half. Like the perfect fucking intersection of both all right i'm gonna say i'm throwing a stall phone fan service i'm throwing a stall phone fan service uh i think this character was mostly designed okay so here's the thing yes you have to read deeply into the paladins of charlemagne text to learn fucking anything i don't even know there may have been an illustration of this character i don't know maybe somebody went and made it post-mortem the thing is with this particular this is basically like almost an oc most like literally i believe i wish i wish we would somebody could like pull up the text that like basically explains a sulfo which i'm going to try to do real quick um uh, but basically this character was more or less a blank slate for them okay a Solfo and St. John the Apostle fly back from the moon uh, after a live as flame chair. Okay. There's a couple of things about a Solfo, but... While you do that, I'm going to make a quick addition while you talk. I got it. The big thing with a Solfo is, like, I feel like this is a character they kind of... 
a, a couple of things happen with the the Wikipedia page is more full than I thought it would be, um, but at the same time, um, I feel like this is a character they designed to do whatever they wanted to with, and it worked. That is why I would put Rosolfo um, in. Uh, Daddy Waver. Daddy Waver. I I agree. I'm wondering if you're gonna try to like do the weird fucking Fire Emblem angle and say he's a hyperfixation. Oh fuck no! Fuck no! no like no, baby. Like literally, the whole point with Waver is like the They wanted to invert Fate uh, Fate Zero, right? No. What? It, well, okay, partially that. But also, the whole lore is that Zhu Liang was called from the throne, but he mm -hmm. said, Nah, I actually don't want to do that. Waver, can you do this shit for me? Here's my powers. And then Waver's like, What? <laughs> mm. Like, that is essentially why he's Zhu Liang is the actual Zhu Liang is like I'm just gonna sleep waver you take over I kind of don't give a shit what you do damn yeah, yeah. he's literally just and, waver. And waver as far as I understand has always been a fan favorite character oh in, fuck. in all incarnate does waver appear in the visual novel uh no he does not okay that's a uh, anime exclusive all right, we're gonna we're gonna pull up Rhinus too, real quick, cause I like her. Oh, oh, that. Oh God, that's right. She is a fucking servant. Yes. Yeah, there is one place she can go only. Uh, How the fuck would she ever be hyperfixation? I honestly, I don't know. I think the only angle you could take for that is saying that they want to use her to explain things about like Nasu's weird little like OC realm of the Nasu verse. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to put Rhinus here. That's a Rhinus face. Yep. And there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. you, oh, will, gotta, you will understand. I've got, a, I've got a good one for you. Hold on just a second. Because, gang, I'm not heartless. I will not separate her from her dad. They're all one big happy family now. One big happy fucked up dysfunctional I, family. Yeah, I was going to say, the kind of family they are is kind of fucked up. It's a little bit fucked up. Rhino says some really out-of-pocket shit in Elmaloy. Ah. Um, I think I think uh, fucking gray or not gray. Uh, Waver really thinks of uh, Gray more as like a daughter or a student than anything, but she's more than a little interested in him. Can you put Luvia underneath them? We sure could. I uh, thought about it too, to be honest. But we're running out of room, so we gotta we gotta make it good. I mean, I can Let's just... add an entire fucking column. Oh my god. I can literally just expand the canvas. I didn't even think about that. The canvas is infinitely expandable. Expand, expand, expand. Oh. All right. Why sell shells? Why limit yourself? Sell oil instead. Or sell oil as well. That's where it is. We Not don't have fucked. a single Reen or Sakura on there. We'll fix that shortly. You... Hang on. I'm trying to remember what the Ooh. fuck is Astrea. That's her name. I typed Asterios first and I knew I was wrong. Oh, uh, the the ruler or no, she's not a ruler, is she? No, she's a ruler. She's like a, she is a ruler. OK, because I, I, I think she literally has like the fucking scales in her hand, doesn't she? Yes, but I want to say fan service just because Luvia. It's Luvia. Yeah, literally Luvia. <laughs> and now. Now, 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 now. Here's where things get interesting. Okay. I was expecting a scream. Damn. So we have the Ishtar. I have. I, the reason I didn't scream is because I've been anticipating this for two hours. Oh, I see. Well, give me um, just a moment because I'm not done yet. Okay. 
Oh, this is definitely a search result that has been poisoned at this point. Um, what does that mean? I searched their name, and the fake character was the first thing that came up. Well, of course. All right, so we have the Areshkigal. Oh my god, she's tiny. And now... Chat, do we... Do we include Space Ishtar as a separate character? She is a separate character. Because servant verse shit is stupid, and I like it. I think a Rush Kigal goes in fan service not only because of how popular she is, but because she was so popular, they had to fucking add her. They weren't gonna. You could you didn't fight against her as a servant in Babylonia because like ah well it'll be a fucking ghost or something. And then they were like, ah! <laughs> flew her in there. <laughs> My fucking scream! What the fuck was that? Yeah, it's just one of my few tricks in my back pocket. All right, hang on. We're we're bringing in Darth Vader, Spacey Star. Copy image, uh, paste. There we go, Space Star. All right, we have a trifecta of reens. Are we gonna are we gonna do space arrest? <laughs> Let's start with Ishtar first. Okay. Ishtar's characterization is more or less pure Reen and has very little to do with the Mesopotamian myth. Have I, you met my favorite character of all time? I think she'd go here. And I'm putting I her think, next to Luvia because I think it is funny. Yes, that is I would I would also do that. Next, Aresh Kigal. Mm-hmm. I am trapping Luvia in the corner. Oh my god. And then okay. Space Ishtar, I know very little, so I need help from chat. Zoe said all fan service. If so here's the thing. Ishtar Speckled, listen up. Let me tell you a little something. They talk a lot about the Mesopotamian myth with Ishtar in Babylonia, right? And what you forget about is that Ishtar is Mesopotamian Aqua. Whereas Reen is brilliant because she's good at everything. <laughs> they, like, there are parts of Reen in Ishtar and Ereshkigal. It was actually kind of fucking brilliant of them to be like, hey, here's a Sundari character. We're going to give her two personas. And so Ishtar is the really brash one. Uh -huh. And uh, Ereshkigal is the really soft one. The dairy dairy, if you will. All right, so here's my question, chat. Do we want to separate all three Spishtars? Or do we just want to encompass them? As one. We, is it still the fucking 13 Sentinels OST? Yes. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta start listening to that outside of the game. No, this shit, this shit fucking bangs. That's a lot of reen if I do. I mean, oh man, that's going to be a lot of reen, Shane. I don't know. I don't think we I have mean, that much reen in the budget. Listen, listen. I've got plenty of reens on my own. If we want to condense it down to just be Spishtar and Space Kagal, that's fine. Oh yeah, I need to actually throw in uh, Aresh Kagal. Space Kagal. I did, that way we could completely trap Luvia. <laughs> Right. She's not going anywhere, dude. But um, I think, like, overall, like, Ishtar, while she's designed to look like Reen, she's like cringe fail Reen. Those characters occupy a very different space in my brain. Um, And, like, you understand, like, I'm not, I'm, a, I'm like, a, about the limit of normal about that character. Okay, there we go. Like, Luvia is now completely contained. It's Jover. It's so Jo- She's dead. Her only escape is to beat the shit out of Waver, which will be painfully easy. Yeah. <laughs> the only way you can escape is if you kill this twink. Oh, you're, you're promising me a good time? Let's go. <laughs> All right, do we bring in Robin Hood? I think we can bring in Robin Hood.
Uh, no, Speckle, I don't, I don't disagree, uh, that, that Ishtar is more, uh, I, I think that she absolutely belongs in fan service. Um, I just think that in terms of, like, I don't think that Ishtar or Reshkigal, or I guess I don't know about Space Ishtar, but I don't think either Ishtar or Reshkigal from Babylonia are like, yeah, this is just Reen. Like, Reen is definitely a separate character. And I like Ishtar, and I like a Reshkigal. But like to me, like Reen is a, like a, a separate entity. Well, that is some thirsty shit, dude. Dog, uh, I, 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 I love this character. I love him a lot. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't feel like they talk about. He's an extra, right? Yes, he is in uh, extra and extra CCC. I don't know that they talk a lot. I think Robin Hood is just supposed to be such a well-known thing. They don't talk about like, oh yeah, here was my time with the Merry Men and whatever. Uh, in original extra, his entire shtick is that uh, he's kind of just an edgy guy. Uh, he doesn't really have much in original extra. He's a different Robin Hood who took on the mantle. Ooh. Oh, so he's like Nightwing or some shit. Oh, uh, the Bad original Man Robin Beyond. Hood is in Strange Fake, Robin of Loxie, who is also an archer. I see. In that case, since he's not the original Robin Hood, then would that make him fan service? Uh, because he is playing fan service to the lore of Robin Hood. Yeah, then... I guess so. He doesn't feel like a hyperfixation. He feels like, hey, here's a character named Robin Hood, and we're going to do whatever we want with him because, by the way, he's not actually Robin Hood. And also, it feels he's kind of like what they did with Musashi and. Uh, Ushi. Well, I don't know if Ushi's not the, you know what I mean. I'm I'm gonna say Robin Hood is gonna gonna hang out with Reen over here in fan service. The fan Archer, service Archer aisle Land. is actually starting to fill up a bit. That's right, because we started going for characters that look like other characters. <laughs> <laughs> look at the last fucking eight or nine we placed, dude. Eight of them were just other characters. All right. And because y'all, you asked for it real quick. Hang on. You highlighted the message and everything. I don't know shit about this character. So chat. Who the fuck is that? This post may contain erotic or adult imagery. I, I just took the picture. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, imager is scanning my fate Where? shit. Okay. Who is this? Hephaestus. Oh, you don't know about... Oh, wait, Hephaestus? 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 Asbestos? This is the bitch from Elmoloy, right? I do not remember right. her. This to me feels like hyperfixation. I got I it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Mod action. Mod action. Let's go. There's a reason why I'm wanting to rewatch El Malloy because I it's don't good. remember That's a fine. lot of it very well. How the f God, I fucking hate Twitch's stupid fucking windows, dude. I got to move it to ban people. Get the fuck out of here. You got it. Let's go. You got it. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think after this, let's do some of the Nobu Nobu shit. All right, I think this is a hyperfixation thing. This is a deep cut into Alexander the Great lore. Okay, I could fuck with that. I could fuck with that. Okay, in that case, I know you said Oda Nobunaga. We'll do that afterward. But please understand, I feel like I have to, I have to open with the main character, you know. And by that I mean the character I actually own a figure of. That doesn't really narrow it down. I mean, it will in a moment. God Gundam! God the Gundam! -er! You have an Okita figure? Yeah. Hmm. I got... I, please understand, I bought most of my FGO figures before I started playing FGO. Interesting. Because I liked the characters, but I didn't want to play it. So I got characters of like Oki. I got a figure of Okita. I got like fucking two figures of Skaha. Mm -hmm. uh, there were quite a few of the FGO specific ones that I got just because I really liked the characters, but didn't want to roll on Gacha. 
And yeah, that's that's actually the reason why I got Okita initially was because of the Koha Ace stuff and her appearance in Carnival Phantasm. She's in Carnival Phantasm? Yeah. Oh, right, right. I remember the very last episode, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. When they're talking about the release of FGO and how it's been delayed multiple times. <laughs> and they're talking about it with Kohaku, I think. All right. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about this character. I don't know her fucking role in the game or story so, at all. So I know she was called Sakura Saber mm. and she was another Saber face. And that alone, like, already yeah. to me, kind of uh -huh. points to fan service -y shit. Jesus Christ. And it doesn't help that, like, <laughs> she appeared in a lot of fan service -y works in terms of just, like, wanting to have uh, fun with things. Feet. She's actually pretty Hold accurate on. to the real Okita beyond her face. I see. She's always the face of Guda Guda. I see. Kill. Die? How are you doing, Devin? Oh, timed out. My, I guess I missed it? That's no, crazy. Devin got them. Oh, that's weird. I must have pressed the wrong button. Wait, what about that other guy? Her interlude hurts. I, this, I want to roll this character so fucking bad, man. Oh okay. Oh, God. I have we I have summer Nero in fan service. Okay. Yeah, we put Nero in fan service, but I feel that a lot of Nero's place was because she was the first. But if she I mean they both appeared around the same time. Because oh. Nero was like teasing Carnival Phantasm and Okita was also in like that same episode, the same style. I'm sorry, Devin. That is unfortunate. Let's see. Chat. I I put Nero there. Again, because her being the first and being like very indistinguishable in terms of like like her general silhouette. I will say, however, Okita has a generally different silhouette from normal Saber. Yeah. yeah, Nero appeared in 2010 while Okita was in 2012. That's true, that's true. Because I forgot that the last episode of Carnival Phantasm wasn't until I was a fucking junior in high school, apparently. Yeah, exactly. So I personally, with with what everyone is saying in chat, I'm thinking maybe... I don't, I don't, I don't know enough to object. I don't know if they really get into the servants, like background and stuff they much. they do i do know for a I fact mean, that it, they go it, pretty it hard definitely ended up being a fan favorite i know there's summer okita and stuff because i've seen a few out of context things that have shown me that uh this character's life hurts <laughs> a lot tb for real for real okay um tony blark that's that's what it means right Uh, uh, tuberculosis. Yeah, Tony Blark, right? Sure. Um, <laughs> I, I googled just the name Oda Nobunaga, <laughs> and I got jump scared by the real Oda Nobunaga. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't. I really don't know. Was o Oda Nobunaga was not part of the Romance of Three Kingdoms because Oda Nobunaga is a Japanese warlord. No, he was part of the uh, Sengoku period, the Warring, the Warring States period. Warring States period. Yeah. Okay. And like he was a real dude. Uh, let's grab one of them. There, good images. There's a lot of good Nobu. I'm a go I'm gonna go with this one. I really like this one. Is it oh, okay? Thought for sure you're gonna take the naked one. <laughs> what? No. The the like goofy Rio naked Nobu. Nah, not that one. It was between this and Summer Nobu. Mm. Uh, cause I like Summer Nobu because she wears the Buster shirt, but I also like Avenger Nobu a lot. Mm. Yeah, I I don't know anything even about this character's like inspiration. I don't know much about Oda Nobunaga. I know for me, this character is 
very difficult to take oh. out of the fan service pile for me. Okay. Because the only thing I've ever experienced Nobu in is silly bullshit. But I am open to uh, other interpretations. It sounds like we have some people saying that this is a fan service servant. Yeah, it's. And... I feel like it's the same as fucking Musashi. Like, it's the same kind of thing going on with mm. Musashi, where it's like, this is like if they put in George fucking Washington. Like, Odu yeah. Nobunaga's that guy. But if it's if it's not hollow, right? If it's if it's like there's a motivation behind it, because like o Okita, right? Okita and Nobunaga are like kind of like joined at the hip a little bit, at yes. least when I see them. So if Okita is going to be in hyperfixation and Nobunaga is part of that, I feel like then they should both be in hyperfixation. Oh, that's hard. It's so much hyperfixation it goes all the way back around to fan service. Oh. I, I don't know anything. We're getting way out of my comfort zone. I have no fucking idea anymore. Nobu is hyperfix because while she is Oda, she's not 100% no Oda. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I'm going to say two things then. I'm definitely going to keep Oda in fan service because of the same things that we said for Musashi. However... I'm going to keep Okita in hyperfixation because I think it's funny to have them on opposite sides of the aisle. Uh, it is very funny to have uh, lovers uh, divided by a singular wall. I thought they. Mm. They're not actually lovers, but I'm going to say that they're lovers right now because mm -hmm. it is convenient okay. for my narrative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you would. Yeah, no, I, I, I spin <sighs> narratives all the time. They call me Walter Fox News. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, you like Walter Fox News. <laughs> they call me the couch... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, oh, I, I'm not saying that shit. Holy shit. All right. Let's, 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 uh, let's make Shane comfortable here. Let's make Shane comfortable Come here. Come on. Let's, uh... Are you going to make us so sort out the Sakura 5? Uh, not yet. You're, I think, I think you're going to be happy with this one. All right. I was going to bring her up. I was going to bring her up. Yes. I've been waiting for this. I feel it is time for the sisters. Okay. Okay. So real quick, I'm not done yet. Yeah. Oh, I see. You're going to grab all three. I might as well, you know? Sure. First of all, Uriley and Steno, I don't think they should be separated. I, I feel well, like they go... Uriley did have a more prominent uh, role in Okeanu than Steno did in Rome. All right, and now we have... Okay. Uh, ba ba. Oh, you guys, you guys are, you guys make me real dizzy. I got to hear some arguments for this. Not arguments. I want to hear, the, I want to hear the cases. While you do that. Oh my God. Bring her in. Bring her in. Oh my God. Where <laughs> did she get that? <laughs> and then... Okay. Um I will not be including Anna, but yeah. That's fine. I okay. think I think this is good. Oh, did I write Gorgon down? I think I wrote Gordon on my list of big Nosiverse women. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, I remember us talking right. about it. Okay. So here's the thing. I kind of agree with chat when they say these are deep cuts in Greek mythology. Uriley and Steno are not, like, it's not like they've never appeared in a video game before, but Medusa is... Everyone knows Gorgon. Medusa. Everyone's played Castlevania. Everyone knows Medusa. But also, like, Uriley... So, a lot of the original Fate Stay Night Servants, I think, qualify primarily 
like if we replace them all, I'm pretty sure like all of them would go in hyperfixation because there was not when they were released when they were added there was not like a fan base at the time it was the first work right yes and because of that everybody that nasu put in was because he was on some shit he just he just like thought this would be a cool character to explore oh gorgon is 100 percent fan service i i think straight up is there's no other place for gorgon to go right but I everyone else is definitely hyper It's also a big lady. It's a big lady. True, true. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that in general, um, Medusa, Riley, and Steno, um, while Medusa... Okay, also, you don't find out who the fuck Medusa is unless you're playing Heaven's Feel. True. Oh, and that was the craziest fucking payoff for me because, like, I guess I no, I no, 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 no. You you find out about Medusa, I believe, in the Fate Route. Ah, uh, but yeah. the Fate Route. Yeah, but you know, yeah, Fate Route. Because I was so, about to say, wait a minute, that don't sound right. <laughs> listen, in terms of the anime adaptations, um, you don't really know. Like, it, the the Fate Route anime does not really say much about it, or if they do, I totally forgot about it because whatever. But, um, yeah, in UBW, she immediately gets glassed, like, episode 7 or something. Yeah, exactly. Because in know, the Fate Route, in the... you actually... There's a point where she fights Shiro, and then um, then there's an actual big fight between Medusa and Saber. And it's, like, actually really cool. It's, like, one of the things I remember from the Fate Route when uh, those two fight. And that shit's kind of cool. Okay. But yeah. Um, cool stuff. I think Bellerophon is a huge deep cut. The idea of having Med like a humanoid Medusa, Uriley, and Steno are, I feel like, is, is such an interesting interpretation. It demonstrates like a thorough understanding of the myth uh, around it, which I think is really cool. Oh, what the fuck? What? What's wrong? What the fuck do you mean, Steno and Uriley are in hol hollow ataraxia? Yeah. What? Is well, hold on. They have sprites. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> I just got flashbanged by fucking what Takeuchi fuck Steno. What the fuck is a is a hollow ataraxia like localized release even gonna look like? Is that still gonna be in a rogue? Like what? What happens to hollow ataraxia when you got all the weird sex scenes? Oh. Uh, a lot is still there. Hmm. I mean, Kagetsu Toya is the same. If you remove the weird sex scenes in Kagetsu Toya, there's you a lot of shit. You know what the crazy shit. thing is? What? The only thing I know about Hollow Ataraxia, besides like the inclusion of Bazet and Karen and stuff, is like it is just because that's the shit that people always talk about. Is like, oh yeah, there's this sixth scene with like Ryder and and Sakura, and also there's this other thing, and also Shiro's like a, a pedophile or something, and I'm like. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I... They don't usually talk about Hollow Ataraxia on its own merits. I have only ever usually heard from people that just Hollow Ataraxia has a lot of really cool shit in it. Damn. I, However, I knew about the threesome. Uh, I think you've been spared. It's, you know, that's the, uh, that is the one thing I have heard from some people is it's like, oh, the, the, the Rin, so the, the fucking, uh, Sakura Rider threesome, and I'm like, uh, that's Ooh. fucking cool. I don't care. I don't care, dude. I can always look up the CGs if I really wanted just that, but that's not what I'm I want. I'm sure that there are a lot of DGs for that as well. Oh, okay. Uh, that's Dojin. Uh, DGs, that's a Dojin. I'm using some slang here, chat, you know? Yeah. If you're getting confused, I'm using some slang, just like with my calc, uh, that's slang for calculator. Uh, so, um, anyways, I think that the like that's that's about where I, why I feel those three go there. I think I, I don't, I mean, is Uriley like particularly popular? I mean, I know I like her, but that's because <laughs> you told her sixteen times on your birthday. God. <laughs> was it or was it? I think you definitely had like NP sixteen. Uh, yeah, basically, I pulled way too. Fucking you pulled many. at least thirteen. I didn't pull I a single five star that day. 
God, did you Let not? it be known. I oh. All of my good gotcha rolls lately have stemmed from the fact that on my birthday, I got shafted. God, yeah. fuck. Pretty funny, though. It was so funny. <laughs> um, All right. So I think that's where where the Gorgon sisters are going to go. I really like those characters. I would like to see more of them. I I always love seeing like fan art of them and stuff. I feel like it's usually pretty tasteful. I haven't seen any weird shit. How about but... now? Uh, we have some assassins we haven't thrown in yet. I feel like Hassan has to be. All the Hassans are hyperfixation. So first off, I didn't before even that, anything. I I am pulling up. What I think is the, Legend of the, France? the biggest Nasu hyperfixation, in my opinion. All right, let's see it. Really? The way they gas this dude up in Fate Stay Night. Dude, please recall that Fate Stay Night also contains Gerugamesh. <laughs> Hojo Sasaki is almost completely contained to Fate Stay Night. And chat, if you think he's not, keep your mouth shut for a second. Um, I think that this guy, they do gas him up a little bit because he uses like the second magic without using the second magic or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I agree that he is very specific for a character that's like, he's not actually Kojiro Sasaki. He's like just some fucking guy. He is just a guy that took the name, but like, I feel like in general, like <laughs> in Fate Stay Night, there, like there's Gilgamesh. But when I was reading Fate Stay Night originally, I never felt anyone get gassed up the way <laughs> this guy got gassed up. And I think it was deliberate because it turns out that he is a nothing burger throughout the entire story with the exception of the fate route because in the fate route he is very prominent and like they gas this dude up like fucking crazy mm -hmm. that he literally can't leave the temple dude in carnival phantasm when he drives with the fucking gate <laughs> the truck, listening to, like old ass country music is so fucking crazy <laughs> and they crash and he talks about how he wanted to get married to the temple and essentially and they just wanted to spend their lives together holy shit yeah a point is made that he would have be even been even better as a saber had he not been summoned as an assassin no yeah this dude gets gassed up so hard in fate stay night i am throwing him 100 percent into fucking hyperfixation. He belongs there. All right. So, now 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 now. Let's pull some Hassans out, shall we? Dude, I'm telling you. What Hassan? Oh, Serenity, okay. Hassan of the Serenity could probably go fan service, but I think I think a cute Hassan might belong in the fan service, but I think all the other Hassans, the Hassans from Fate Stay Night and Fate Zero, are definitely both hyperfixation. I had not hear a fucking one of them, dude. There's King Hassan. Oh. King Hassan might have. Because uh... at that point, by the time King Hassan came in, we already knew so many Hassans. So it's like the Hassans have built their following. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh,. He's been streaming on Twitch for a while. He has a relatively right. good following. Oh my god, dude, the fuck that fuck ass face that Hassan of the, <laughs> when of the he... freaking arm makes. <laughs> I love that face, dude. He just looks up a little bit. <laughs> so would you say King Hassan is fan service? I or... would be okay putting him there. I don't feel like I have much of a horse in this race. All right, Old Man of the Mountain is the original Hassan, but Cursed Arm was the first we ever saw. Right. And King Hassan feels like something that you would bring in after people have read Fate Stay Night. And it's like, <laughs> isn't King this Hassan fucking is, cool, yeah, guys? He's a big deal because of what we know about 100 Personas and Cursed Arm. 
Yeah, exactly. Camelot practically won him a fan base. Ooh, that's true. That's cool. true. Cursed Arm? Cursed Arm, yeah. Because in original Fate Stay Night, like, Cursed Arm... He doesn't really have much of a redemption arc. He, no. he has almost no character whatsoever. Hmm. Oh, was Serenity in Prototype? Oh. Serenity! Ah, shit, Yog. I didn't... Serenity, I didn't know your skin was poisonous. Is that why you had them operate on your eyes? I see. All right. Uh, in that case, I'm going to say Hassan of the Serenity is definitely hyperfixation. Then. That's crazy. Because if she's in prototype, no, that makes complete sense. Wait, she's in prototype or she was in the draft? Because being in prototype, you know what I mean? Proto Merlin, is Proto Merlin fan service or is Proto Merlin hyperfixation? I think Proto Merlin's hyperfixation. I don't know. Oh, not Proto Merlin, uh, uh, Proto Arthur. Proto Arthur is also hyperfixation, I think. You think so? Yeah. I would put them both I in I feel like it's a ha, we're going to gender bend the mascot character. Whoa! She was not the original planned, though, because, fun fact, that was Hassan of the Shining Star, who was later released in FGO, like, what, like, two months ago or some shit, I think? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna put both of these in hyperfixation. I will also put King Hassan in hyperfixation. Ooh. And then, let's, uh, let's... Do we want to do the prototypes? I think the prototypes would be a good idea. I mean... I feel like there's not a lot to say about the prototypes because most of them are confined to True. prototype. I mean, you got Proto Arthur, who I guess is in Fate Go, but then like Proto Kuhulan, who is also in Fate Go. But at that point, I feel like their inclusion in Fate Go is like a fan service thing. Actually, then... you know what? Yeah, that's a. I'm not. I'm not going to worry about Fate prototype right now, because someone more important has entered the chat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This feels like it has to be a fucking hyperfixation, right? Um, when when Arash was introduced, oh my god, guys, can you believe it? They they brought in Arash from like the way that Nasu. So it, he has a big role. Yeah, in fucking he gasses this Camelot. man the <laughs> fuck up. He's like, dog, Arash. The reason he dies after his MP is because his swag is too different. <laughs> yeah. Your bitch too bad. They'll kill you, Arash. <laughs> and he's like, nah, I'll kill myself. <laughs> like, I feel like Arash has to be in hyperfixation. He has to be. There's, He hyperfixates so hard that it just results in the fan service, you know? Yeah, five star Alzamandius wishes he well, had. Now, now he's like he's like a funny joke because he's like, haha, like fucking single target explode or whatever, right? Like, but you know when he was introduced, I didn't know who the who the fuck knew who this guy was. I didn't. I didn't. Fucking, I still want there to be a five star Arash. I I am begging for there oh my to be God, a, a five star. That'd be so crazy. Arash. Be a fucking one star and a five star, and the five star has amazing skills with dog ass NP. <laughs> oh man. Uh oh oh oh. Okay okay. Hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on. Uh. <gasps> Excuse me. I just realized what have I been doing? Mm hmm. I don't know. I certainly couldn't say. Hang on, we, uh, this is important for my own mental oh, health. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. This is important for Muffler Man's continued existence. Yeah, do we even need to talk about this? Okay. There we go. Okay, double wide? Yeah, double wide. Sure. Like, <laughs> fucking, the only reason I could ever see hyperfixation being a thing is if you wanted to talk about Nasu's fucking obsession with vampiric lore in Tsukihime. 
But even then, that, that I mean, goes beyond the purview of our parameters. Yeah. Arcoid was not included because, like, oh, you know what? I think that I, it's that it, that was a fan inclusion, dude. Also, they were they were promoting when she first dropped. They were like promoting uh, Suki remake, right? Exactly. All right, so so we so we have Arcoid. So uh, she is uh, perfectly contained within our little little bit here. We think. So what's this list about again? Okay, Doc. This is is the point behind a service a, a servant to be fan servicey, as in oh that's a character I remember. They make my neurons spark, or they're kind of sexy hoo hoo ha ha. Versus Nasu did a really big wiki dive one night and then ended up with a servant because of it. Um, I think that adding all of the Mahoyos besides Sojuro, like, I think, like, we, it's very clear at this point, like, hey, this is a crossover servant. This is not done for a hyperfixation. Yes. This is, this is because we can cross over with our own properties and hype people up, cross-contamination, whatever it takes. I think a lot of people bought Melty Blood because it had fucking fake ghost servants in it. Speaking of Faco servants, hang on. She's coming in hot. This, I refuse to believe this servant is anything less than hyperfixation. They, it is such a deep cut. The reason she's a fucking blonde woman and everything. <laughs> this is they, this they is. They could have uh, made her a fucking like dragon. They made her a fucking like white woman for like lore accurate reasons. And also the fact that. <laughs> This is like a double whammy because it's like an obsession with the like door. the culture, but then also an obsession with fucking Lucha. Oh my God. Like it so goes true. so deep. It's so deep. <laughs> it goes so deep. <laughs> I fucking love Quetzalcoatl. Holy shit. All right. Tez, I don't know anything about really. Oh, that is. Because Tez <laughs> is uh, a character, Tez Polka, but he's like an assassin that shows up in part two. Okay. And I know almost nothing about him, but I know that he plays a big role, but I don't um, know enough. I think, I think we've got maybe just a couple more. I would us. agree. I would agree. Let's, they don't necessarily make need to be the same length. Yes. Um, do we have uh, any any really spectacular recommendations from the chat? Yeah, I feel like Jaguar Man. We we agree Jaguar Man would be. Actually, can can I do can I do one real quick? Yeah, because uh, it, it feels really fucked up that she's not here, and it's okay. been bothering me. Saber? Yeah, okay. Like... Dude, you know what it is. It, like, fucking... The only way... This character is the mascot of the Fate franchise. So at this point, her alts and stuff might be fan service, but the original inclusion of this character, Nasu was... Dude, you know how much I thought about King Arthur as a kid? fucking never like i heard about it once i didn't watch like the once in future king disney movie i fucking read the original th white once in future king when i was in high school it was assigned to me yes and i don't give a fuck about king arthur turn king arthur into a pretty anime girl make it the center of your your now largest property oh Dude, he was fascinated he was fascinated by arthurian legend yeah 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 Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm looking around my room for a sec here. Hang on. That's right. Most of my Type Moon figures are still in the in the dungeon. Mm, that's a terrible thing to say that they're in. Uh, don't worry about it. 
I okay. knew of King Arthur before Fate, but I didn't know about the Battle of Kamlan. I didn't know about Calibur and the Lady of the Lake. I didn't know about all of the Knights of the Round Table. I didn't Bedivere, Tristan, like all of those things that that are so deeply intertwined into Fate lore at this point came because Nasu was on some shit. Oh man, okay. So I'm I'm scrolling up. We have Gawain. We have shooting Doji. We can't put the logo and hyperfixation. I agree with that. Uh, let's see. Gawain, Lancelot, Percival. I feel like almost all of the Knights of the Round go for the most part into hyperfixation. I knew about I knew about Lancelot. I like I had heard Lancelot in Bedivere or not Bedivere, Guinevere, right? King Arthur's bitch wife. <laughs> oh my god. This stream is already... I've, I've already sized myself down into the hyperfixation cat. Fucking... My stream exists because of a very special brand of, like, neurodivergence. Let's be real here. Uh, fuck. Fuck is Mandalore Gaming. Oh, do you not know about Mandalore Gaming? No. Uh, he's a really nice YouTube channel. Uh, I, I like his stuff a lot. It's uh it's very me core. Yeah, Mandalore Gaming did like this game that was about Arthurian legend, and he makes a joke of being like, oh man, King Arthur being a girl? That would never take off. And he just like flashes an image of Saber on screen for like a second. Yeah, and he's in Ultra Kill. I think it's worth noting just like how fucking like fate's influence goes beyond like people making references to a girl king arthur in youtube videos yes there's it's unbelievable to me dude it's to the point where like it's not completely unthinkable to believe that like the keyblade graveyard in kh2 was maybe inspired by either unlimited blade works or like some other fate imagery but even aside from that all the things that fate inspired, like fucking Jujutsu Kaisen was heavily inspired. Jujutsu Kaisen? Fucking, like the he author himself. Loves fate, dude. Yeah, the author himself is just like, no, yeah, I fucking love Type Moon. You can see Type Moonisms all over fucking JJK. It's insane. It's crazy. Man, I'm trying so hard to think of another. Yo, know what? I'm what just, are we, what are I'm we just gonna for? open the game. Fate Go? I'm just going to open Wait, Fate Go on my are phone. Are you looking for another hyperfixation or another fan service? I'm thinking just in general, someone big that we haven't covered yet. Oh my goodness. Any of the Sakuras. BB. Oh, you're so right, Umfi. All right. Uh, let me... My way back here. Oh, dude. Fucking... The fucking... Karna, Karna and Co. All right, but we're doing BB right now because I need, let's do, let's I need, BB. I need this. Uh, hang on one second. I am being very particular. BB with Makoto Miska's haircut. There we go. Oh, summer BB. Okay. Chad, I love Latinos. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> I, think, I think I think the the fucking gooners are about to like rob us of that one. Dog, I really don't want them to take it from me. Okay, so me personally, on one hand, Summer BB feels like so much fucking fan service, but then on the other, holy fuck, all of the fucking Lovecraft shit that's just baked into this goddamn Is character. Is this specifically Summer BB? AI art on stream. Where is AI art? I I don't think I. Summer BB it. is AI, and it's art of her. Oh, I see. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Video games. So, I I don't know. Is BB considered a fan favorite? I think so. Okay, and this is not her original in incarnation. This is not her original incarnation. So but I think that this is I would say okay. in general we could just consider BB as BB and not a separate character in this case. Okay. Okay. She's only in one game. Oh fuck, that's a good point. Damn, she ain't in Extella at all. Yeah. What 
Why is Arcade so wide? Uh, because she is uh, double the fun, double the fun, and deserves twice the space in my heart. I want to. Oh, man, it's so hard. I want to say because uh, okay, this is weird because BB is an offshoot of Sakura who is right. from the original Fate Stay Night. Right. But then ended up as an offshoot character in Fate Extra CCC, mm -hmm. which became their own thing where the only real difference was like, they were an offshoot of a program based on Sakura that became corrupted and became an independent AI that had sentience and then had its own agendas. Mm -hmm. but is also still kind of Sakura. But then also you have all the Lovecraft shit that is... A summer BB? There's uh, <laughs> a lot. I feel like... I feel like... Yeah, the nurse Sakura was based off of Sakura, which was then created... Which, which BB was based off of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we have all of the alter egos, like... Is, at that point, is that is that just fan service because it's like ah, here's all these Sakuras? Or... No, I feel like at that point, it's these are my OCs. Please do not steal. It, exactly, it feels like OCs, and there's a ton of lore and development there's behind so it. Much lore, and they keep on serving us BB, right? I I want to say that BB is like straight up. Uh, that is like. I feel like BB is like base. I mean, BB is literally an original character. So uh, it's not, it's not like, oh yeah. Like I, I just, if we're talking about BB, like in general, not like a particular variant of BB or anything. I, I think that this might be a hyperfixation character. I want to say the, hyperfixation. The extraverse is weird, dude. Yeah. There is so much shit going on in there. That requires like, oh my god, here, like, sit down. I'm gonna tell you about my my world building for like 12 hours. Yes, 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 exactly. And no, I agree. I think her design is like fan servicey is all heck, right? Just because she has Sakura's face, but also big boobs. Like, there's just so much. Nursery oh rhyme my is god. Nursery rhyme is 100% hyperfixation. Oh, we're out of room. All right. So are we doing one more or are we done? I I think we can do I think we can do one more. I think if we maybe I don't know how do you want to how badly do you want to kind of like fill it out? I I want this last one to be impactful. Impactful. Okay. I want something uh, powerful. We've already done most of my favorite servants to be honest. We've already got the rings in there. We've got uh like other you know Luvia We've got, I, I love the original fan. It's Medusa. It might be my, my favorite uh, lady servant. And I think mm -hmm. Archer is probably my favorite guy servant. Probably. Also, real real quick, real quick. Dak, real quick. I'm not usually comfy talking about that kind of stuff on stream personally. Just so you know. I think it is a funny question, but it is not the thing that I like really talking about on stream all that much. Because... Because that's not the main reason I like Fate. I just like Nasu doing cool shit, which is why we're doing this tier list in the first... Tier list? List? This buckets? is, this, this is a, a mental exercise. It's not a tier list. Yeah! We've got two yeah. buckets here. All right, hang on. I'm going to enhance. Let's take a look at these servants. Because I want to do Alco, because Alco is too easy, right? You, you you put in Alco and it's like there's it's just it's, it's that's, just that's, that's that's a complete throw like something do you probably something either a very significant servant that doesn't have or possibly one that's not like okay like this defaults to whatever right so like, probably not a crossover servant if we can help it oh Dak you're fine you're fine I just wanted to let you know like it is all good no worries homie. Let me see. Man, I'm looking at Ulster Cycles again, and I see fucking DR Mood. Because I immediately DR Mood's in hyperfixation. DR Mood. DR Mood. DR Field. Dude, fucking Finn Mikhail or whatever. I actually... I, 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 no, I'm, I'm aware. I, I have a copy of him, too. 
that's another fucking hyperfixation. Oh man. Uh you know? What about Castoria? Well, Castoria is just fan service. Is it? I would immediately throw Castoria into fan service, in my it, opinion. Is it is it fan service or is it holy shit, guys? Listen, what if this thing that you all knew that I told you about for, for 20 years? What if it was sillier? Wait. I I think I might know. Okay. What about Jason? Oh my god. <laughs> of of the Argonauts? Yeah. That motherfucker has no fans. <laughs> Jason's great though! <laughs> It's just that his, in the singularity he first appears in, he sucks. Jason and the Argonauts is a very, I mean, it's a movie. It's a movie that people know about. I don't know, maybe all over the world. Um, I, I'm going to say, honestly, with the, the amount of res like research and stuff they did to like, they didn't just say, hey, here's Jason. He's like, hey, we've got Jason because we've already got Herc and Medea and et cetera, et cetera. The way he feels tied to, like, I don't feel like Jason was included because, like, oh, yeah, here's a guy. He's, he's Jason. You know, everybody loves Jason, the Argonauts, right? I think he was included because he fit into the mythos of, um, the, of what uh, they had already the sent turtles. up with, like, uh, Adelante and, like, Heracles. Yes. But then the question bears is it like, oh, he's Jason. We need to throw him in because he's that guy. And that would add to serving the fans of Heracles and Adelante, or was he added on his own I, merit? I feel to like the they legend? used him to talk a lot about the fucking Argonauts and shit like that in Okeanu, which is thus far all we've really seen of him in the live dub. His servant variation is fan sir. It would matter. Okay, so there is one thing about Jason that I actually really like, right? And do you know his NP? Um, no, I don't remember. His NP is that he summons all of the Argonauts and they essentially terrorize him and beat the shit out of him while attacking the enemy. Interesting. I almost feel he exists solely to light up the rest of the Argonauts. Okay. That's fine. In the same vein as Cursed Arm. You know, the irony... Uh, is that I expected it to be so easy, right? I didn't. I expected most of these to go boom, 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 but we did end up thinking about it for there, some of these. <laughs> I'm, I'm still almost certain that the talk that we had about uh, uh, Saber Narrow uh, deserves to go in the Library of Congress. That was some... I think that was definitely the hardest one on here. Dog! I'm still so fucked up thinking about it. I... I just... It's... It, it is so complicated. I'm afraid... I, I mean, I don't really care, but I, I sense that we might catch some strays from this. But that's usually how these things go. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm still upset about colors fucking, oh, yeah, like Suicune is more of like a like a, a blob. I'm like, there's literally a fucking dog. What All am right. I going to do with you? Real quick, oh, I'm doing here. I'm doing one more. I'm doing one more. Okay. Isn't it Napoleon? Shufu, Shufu. immediately I... in fan service. What the f- I don't know anything about this character. Mostly because uh, her entire shtick is that she lives for Yume Ren. Where is Goku? Where is Goku? Oh, uh, we have Goku. They're they're right here. Oh, true. Hi hyperfixation, baby. <laughs> we, we already covered that. I made sure Goku was here. <laughs> so true. You'll love to see it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But no, I think... I think... This is definitely... Definitely the list. I think I'm happy with this overall. Oh my god. This the Serene Tsukihime remake piano track to take us out to. Oh my god. This is... We've done it. 
chat room, we've done it. I feel I feel good about all these plays. There's not a single thing on here. I'm like, no, nah, this is fucking bullshit. We need to redo this. I think this makes sense. I think in general, this is a powerful list. Uh, I think the only regret I have is we will have mm -hmm. to remove Waver off of the list soon because Luvia is going to kill him mm. to escape the Reens because she's surrounded I, on all sides. I forget, is Luvia one of Waver's students? Because most of Waver's students kind of want to, you know... I mean, why was Altera in fan service? Because Nasi wanted to make a big OC lady, okay? Altera's identity as Attila the Hun has so little to do <laughs> with what she does. Yeah! It's like, literally her, her story is, I'm an alien, but then I was adopted by people and became Attila the Hun. I don't think historically Attila the Hun was an actual alien. I think I think that the best argument for putting a, uh, Altera in a hyperfixation would be similar to like BB, where it's like, yo, I want to tell you a story real quick. But at the same time, I feel like that is a character that they have they have made very clear i mean of, of course also i guess her design probably does stuff for a lot of people uh i may not necessarily be one of them i uh think that i'm i like her like baby girl nature but yes um this is a character I'm like not this is very indulgent this Nasu is incredibly indulgent Bella. i'm like you son of a bitch <laughs> god I, I think about a lot of this, and I'm literally just like, damn. Some of these characters, Nasu was really just like... I am going what if she in. was a big lady? I'm going in with one mission, and one mission only. I want this woman to be so large that she can crush me with any part of her. Actually, now that, now that I think about it, how many women on the... in general here, or I guess... One, two, three, I'm seeing three, four, four women. How big is, how big is Raiko? Raiko is like, just tall, right? She, I, I want to say she's like six foot. Okay. So there are five women on this list that, that fit Nasu's weird big lady thing, depending on how you look at it. Cause you got Arkwid, with like nature arc yes. right you've got gorgon who's just a big lady uh you've got summer bb who's got the np where she gets really big um you've got altera and uh let us not forget uh i think that's you have uh, space arash kagal you also have space, space ishtar Arash. I don't I don't know if Space Arash is super giant, but uh space ishtar obviously does people have the in chat space are saying ishtar. arash is super giant in game okay and space Wait, Ishtar, really? yeah. And then space Ishtar okay. has like the the gigantic goddess Ishtar that she has. She yeah. So I guess that's the main body or something, right? What about Koji Koyo, the T Rex. Uh, oh, Koji Kyo. Uh, I don't I, know if that counts as big lady. That's just a T Rex. Yeah, I wouldn't count that as big lady. Also, that, that's that would be a big lady if you were on one hell of an acid trip, bro. All right, we I have a line that, reading, bro. and I think after this line reading, I should be good to cut for the night. All right. All right, let's do this. You know what? I became a cop so that I could legally carry a gun. Bitches will talk like, oh, yeah, I'm a good person. I believe in the reformat reformative prison systems. <laughs> My opinions deserve to be respected. And then literally play League of Legends like bro. You can't do both. The world is shit or something like that. I don't remember. It's been a little too long since I played Persona 4. Hey, yo, Junpei. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking still fucks me up that one of the big shit posts that I still remember going big for me at the time was the fucking Jordan Peterson Adachi one. Mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson Adachi is maybe one of the best things I've ever fucking recorded. <laughs> oh, I still fuck. Get, not a lot, but I still get some steady views on this stupid fucking the oh, arcana is no. the means by all by which all is revealed with um uh, uh, whoa we're 
We're going deeper. What is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, my God. We What's have gone on? less deep. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, Kermit the Frog, the Arcana is the mean by which all is revealed. You know. People still kind of look at that sometimes. Anyways, um, that was, uh, we did it. Yeah. We did it. I think there were some real, I think we were really thorough. I think it's, it's for the best. I, I like the idea <laughs> of it being really simple to look at these servants and be like, oh yeah, this one's this way or this way. But like, we thought about it. We thought about it. And we're like, yeah, this is, this is the essence of this servant. This is where they're coming from. I'm just going to say I am happy we got to just kind of fuck around with this. This was a nice this was a nice way to spend a Friday night. Yeah. Better I than, was having uh, a good time. All right. Uh, they're doing I was like looking at Fox for us. They're doing LB6. So I don't want to look Ooh. at that. So I'm not going to yeah. send people their way, unfortunately. Like Aki FGC is playing under night in birth, too. You're late because of 2XKO. I mean, it's fine. The VOD will be around. Uh, I'm actually going to... Big big plan next week. Oh, Finish boy. up my commissions. Get the VODs up. Finally kill Shane. Wait. Finally become better friends with Shane Valshane. Yes. Um, trying to think. Uh, and then other than that... Yu-Gi-Oh! Tuesday, uh, FGO Wednesday, and then Friday will either be fighting games or dumb bullshit. What commissions? I do video editing commissions. Uh, and uh, I'm working on a few things for some friends uh, in terms of like some animated comic dub stuff. So yeah, I do motion graphic and video commissions. That's, that's kind of my thing. I'm a video editor by trade. I also do voiceover commissions, I guess. Uh, how much? Uh, I generally charge $35 an hour for video commissions. That is of the express idea that generally I don't take that long on my video work. So it's like if someone gives me a project and let, if it's like gigantic, that's then it might take a long time. But generally for things like comic dubs, for instance, like I'm charging a friend for like four hours of labor. But it's a case by case basis. But my rate's generally thirty five dollars an hour. But let me see here. Taking a look at who all's streaming. You just tuned in and we're wrapping up. It was a it was a stream and a half, Choco. Let me tell you. Uh, we laughed. We cried. We we had a lot of different emotions. And fucking. I don't know what it's been. Uh... Oh. Oh, oh. Is, is my computer doing the thing again? Yeah, I think my computer's doing the thing again. I heard him talk in, like, a little bit. Oh, oh, no. oh there it is. Oh. There it is. There it is. Okay. Um, right. So, we're back. We're so back. Uh, For those that don't know... My computer has been kind of acting up lately. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I need to format this fucking thing. You know what? Yeah. We're going to raid no good. I have not gotten to raid no good citizen in fucking forever. And he's the goat. Oh. But before we get that raid going, uh, if y'all are new here, just so you know, I got a Twitter, I got a YouTube, and I got a Discord. Feel free to hop into one of those three places uh, if you ever want to be updated on streams or if you want to see any of my fucking nonsense. I was joined here today by Shane Valshane, who you can find on Twitch at Shane Valshane or on Twitter at uh Shane, Shane McPartland. That's true. Oh my god, I forgot. My real ass government name. And so I have linked your Twitter. Do you have Thank anything you. that you would like to plug tonight, Shane? Uh, I wish. 
Um, I've been so busy, I haven't been able to do almost anything besides uh, just normal stuff this week, uh, the regular scheduled programming. Um, but I'm hoping that, uh, I don't know, I guess, I you know, read Tsukihime if you want. I thought it was really good. I I'm think so, I, I think it's fucking fantastic. I, uh, I watch Unlimited Blade Works. I still think that the anime adaptation, it's not going to be bad once the visual, well, I mean, the visual novel's out, so. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, still, still big fan of that Unlimited Blade Works show. Um, yeah, just nothing, nothing yet. Maybe, I mean, probably new Uni E next week. I mean, I, who knows? <laughs> new Uni E, baby. New Uni E next week. I made money. <laughs> okay. <True. laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah a little i mean even a little bit of money is still money you know what i mean it's gamer true. i like money I... why did you get into voice acting i like money said no voice actor ever yeah it's just said somebody who was <laughs> fucking wrong all right we're gonna raid no good for those of you who don't know uh very good street fighter player uh retro dead by daylight uh enjoyer generally good people big big good people energy i fucking love no good uh so sending your you all his way i'll be back tuesday with my pal devin for some more Yu-Gi-Oh. and now that the night has come the stars have all aligned the moon sets in the horizon and I must now say to you all, remember to wear a mask, stay hydrated, get vaccinated, and take care, everybody. Have a good one. Yay. Oh, Hamaku no Kishinami. I forgot. You got to play, uh, you know, Fade, Fade Extella. Play Fade Extra. Extra.